Lincoln, Hamilton. Oh, if only we had Big Bill Scratches back then with a chance to win up to one million dollars. We would have been, as the young people say, party animals! <laughs> They're back, and they brought their money. Went up to one million dollars on the Big Bill's family of Scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Ready to bank at a place where your success and the success of your local community matters? Look no further than Georgia Zone. As a not-for-profit financial institution, Georgia Zone offers better rates, fewer fees, and the assurance of knowing that you and your goals are what matter most. Whether you're looking for a checking account with all the perks, a low-rate credit card, or even an auto loan, Georgia Zone can help. To learn more, visit georgiazone.org. Georgia Zone Credit Union. Banking on purpose. Georgia Zone is federally insured by the NCUA. Planet Fitness is the one and only judgment-free zone. That means for just $10 a month, you can work out at your own pace and just do you. However you want, whenever you want. Get free fitness training and tons of cardio and strength equipment, plus a totally friendly staff for just $10 a month with absolutely no judgment. We want you to be you for just $10 a month. Come in for a free tour or join online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the official fitness partner of your Atlanta Hawks. Join now for just $10 a month. Annual membership fee applies. Participating locations only. See club for details. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. Early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free? national anthem here in boston as we get set for the hawks and celtics let's take a quick look at our starting lineups for tonight's game for the hawks john collins starting up front win snyder said they've got to have a big game out of john tonight if they're going to have any kind of a chance here john's averaging seven and a half points and five rebounds per game deandre hunter had his first really good game of the series in game number four he's averaging 16.8 and he's averaging six rebounds a game. Clint Capella, nine points, eight rebounds. The backcourt featuring Trey Young, 26.8 and nine and a half assists. And he will be joined by Bogey Bogdanovich tonight, taking the place of DeJounte Murray. Bogey's averaging 12 and a half, and he's shooting 48% on his three pointers, too. For the Celtics, it'll be their usual. Jalen Brown, 23 points, five rebounds per game. Jason Tatum averaging 28 and a half points. Al Horford in the middle, five and a half points, seven rebounds. Derek White has really hurt the Hawks in this series. White averaging 19.8 and four rebounds. And Marcus Smart, the point guard, 17 points a game and 6.3 assists coming into this one. The official tonight assigned by the NBA, Josh Tibben, is the lead official. Courtney Kirkland working with him and Trey Maddox. Aaron Smith is the alternate tonight. And if they have to go to the replay center... Rodney Mott is there along with Ed Malloy in Secaucus, New Jersey. So the Hawks have been introduced to the crowd here. The Celtics are in the process right now. So that means just one thing. We're a couple of minutes away. It's NBA playoff action. Game five, Hawks and Celtics coming up next from Boston on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. I'm attorney Ken Nugent. And I'm Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins. I'm proud to be teaming up with the Atlanta Hawks Foundation to provide scholarships for kids to attend basketball camps. The mission of the Atlanta Hawks Foundation is to help Atlanta's youth learn life skills through basketball. Check out AtlantaHawks.com in the community section. 
get involved. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Hawks. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast. Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. He shoots... He scores! Whether we're at home in my bear cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk, my family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks! Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877-GO-SCANA or visit scanaenergy.com slash hawks and use promo code HAWKS for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay, here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard full hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. All right, back again in Boston as we are just moments away from the start of tonight's game number five. Hawks are down three games to one, as you know. So this is a winner-go-home game. The Hawks all know it. They went through shoot-around today. Felt good. They are missing DeJounte Murray for sure. DeJounte was there for encouragement today, though, at shoot-around. He can't be in the building, though, for the game tonight. He's watching back at the hotel. The Hawks are coming out in the white uniforms tonight with the red Atlanta across the chest. The red numbers and the gold trim. Celtics wearing one of their alternate green uniforms. They've got the Celtics scrolled across the chest. The crowd here is certainly up for this game five. They are all on their feet here. And we will be ready to go momentarily. Josh Tibbet is the lead official. He'll throw the ball in the air. And we will be underway. Luke Capella to jump it up with Al Horford. And the tip control by the Hawks. And we are underway. And it's going to be right to left for the Hawks. Trey Young fires a three right away and makes it. Well, there you go. Trey knocks down a three to start the game. 14 seconds in. And the Hawks take a 3 0 lead. That's a good start. And now it's Tatum outside with it for the Celtics. Tatum dribbling in the middle, gets it uh, out uh, now from White to Tatum. Tatum shoots ahead of the key jumper and he misses. A long rebound, though. Marcus Smart gets it back to Jason Tatum. Tatum drives on the baseline, lays it up and around the rivet in. Hawks need to get all the rebounds tonight, too, if they're going to have a chance. They gave up an offensive one there. Here comes Trey Young back now. Trey. Dribbling to the head of the key, down the lane. His floater is good. Trey started off with the first five points of the game. Hawks lead 5-2. to two. And now coming back, Marcus Smart. Smart driving. Kicks it off in the corner. Jalen Brown didn't shoot it. Now he kicks it back out to Smart. Smart lets it fly. That's partially blocked. He got the rebound, though, out to Al Horford. Now in the middle, they go to Tatum. Back to Al. Al fakes and drives. Al goes up off the glass. No good. Rebound taken by DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre coming out of there for the Hawks. Out on the right wing. DeAndre Hunter, dribbling outside, gets a pick from Clint Capella. And now it's nearly stolen, but then DeAndre gets it back. Still 12 of the 24. Right side out to Bogey Bogdanovich. Bogey getting the start tonight. Dribbles into the corner. Now he goes baseline. Back to Clint. Clint fakes. He backs. He turns. The left-hander is way off. Rebound taken there by Tatum. 
Tatum coming back up. He loops it down low to Jalen Brown. A little turnaround is good. Jalen Brown gets his first two. And it's 5-4, Hawks lead. Here comes Trey back with it now. Left corner pass, Johnny Collins fires the three, and it bounces up in the air, no good. And then Quinn Snyder said they need a big night from John tonight if they're going to have a chance. And now Brown drives, lays it up, and around the rim and in. And the Celtics take their first lead of the game. 6-5 to five as Jalen Brown scores. And now Trey back, Trey in the middle. Trey dribbles behind the pick. He drives the lane, throws it underneath, and got five. Or did they just say out of bounds? They just say it went off the Hawks. Oh, my goodness. Now the Celtics get it back. Derek White gets it across. White out on the right wing. Derek White goes left side out to Smart. Marcus Smart hands it off to Tatum for a three. And he misses. Clint gets the rebound and clears it down to Trey Young. Nine and a half to go first quarter. Trey comes back up on the right wing. Walks down by a point, 6-5. Trey dribbles in the middle. Drives. Floater is off the back rim. Back rim, no good. He's going to get all of those to fall if the Hawks are going to have a chance. Now Al Horford goes in the corner. Smart, three-pointer. It's around the rim and bounces in. It's falling out, then it went in. 9-5, Celtics lead. Hawks come back now with Trey. Trey dribbles in the middle. Gets it to Bogey. Bogey down the lane. Passes underneath, and it's laid in by Clint Capella. Clint gets his first two, 9-7, Boston leading. Under nine to go in the first quarter. And now coming back with it, it's White. White goes in the middle to Jalen Brown. Brown back outside, Al Horford has it. Al now goes in the corner to Smart. Smart fakes, goes in the corner. Al, a three-pointer is no good. Bogey had the rebound, and he got it knocked out of bounds. But he got, Tatum was right on his back, and they didn't call it. Trey is saying something to the official about that. He just said call the foul. So now it comes into Trey. He will bring it up across now with eight and a half to go in the first. Trey Young dribbling in the middle. Now uh, goes left, down the lane. Trey fakes, leads, turn around, right hander is off the rim and bounces in. Trey's got seven. Hawks tie the game at nine. Now the Celtics back with Brown. Takes it into the lane, backs in, fakes, left-hander off the glass and good. Jalen Brown's got six, and it's 11-9, Celtics lead. Coming to eight minutes to go in the first. Trey back with it now. Trey dribbling in the middle, out there behind the line. Trey makes a move behind the pick, goes over to Bogey. Bogey back underneath Johnny Collins. He puts it up, no good. Click Capella, the rebound, no good. Tipped up by John Collins and in. So the Hawks stayed right with it, and it's tied at 11. 7.49 to go, first quarter. Brown in the middle. Now he gets the pass underneath. Tatum drives. Left-hander is no good. They call a foul on the Hawks. So Tatum will get the first free throws of the game. Bogey picks up the foul. It's his first. Jason Tatum at the line. Shooting two. Jason Tatum. Who in the series is 20 of 23. Will get ready for the first of two. And his first is good. It rolled in. Celtics jump out on top now, 12-11. They're 5 of 10 from the field, so are the Hawks. And now Tatum ready for his second free throw, and he makes it. So Tatum makes it 13-11, to the Celtics leading, as Trey comes back with it now. Trey Young in the middle. Trey bouncing against Smart. Left side pass, gets it over to DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre in the lane, a little turnaround is no good. And the rebound taken by Tatum. Tatum gets it up ahead now to Brown. Brown drives right to the basket and stops. Jalen Brown has eight, and it's 15 to 11. The Hawks trailing by four. Now Trey back. Trey down the lane. Another floater is good. Trey's got nine already in the first quarter, 15 to 13. Hawks trailing by two. Now Jalen Brown in the middle. Takes the shot, gets it out to Tatum. Tatum. Against DeAndre Hunter, 12 under 24. Tatum back outside to Smart in the middle. Marcus Smart goes underneath again. They get it to Tatum. His little right hander is around the rim and out. Rebound Clint Capella goes to Trey Young. Trey comes across. 6.49 to go in the first. Trey dribbles up near the logo now, goes behind the pick. Trey drives the lane again. Trey kicks it off in the corner. Wide open DeAndre Hunter, and he hits the three. DeAndre knocks down a three, and the Hawks take the lead. 
It's 16 to 15. Six and a half to go first quarter. Selmich come back now as they bring it up with Marcus Smart. Smart dribbles right, stops, goes to the middle. Al Horford, Al, a two-hand pass over to White. Aaron White down low to Tatum. Tatum in the corner gets doubled. Back to White under the basket. Throws it in the corner now. Brown is open, and he hits the three. Jalen Brown's got 11 first quarter points. Celtics lead by two. 18 to 16. Trey comes back now in the middle again. Trey Young goes to Bogey. Bogey in the lane. Bogey passes, and it's saved by Clint Capella underneath, and he lays it up and in. Clint's got four. We've got a tie game. 18 all. Clock ticks under six minutes to go to fast moving first. Now Brown throws it in the corner. Al Horford way outside. He goes to Tatum. Tatum back to Brown. Brown right corner. Fakes the drives. Now he tries to back in on Johnny Collins. Now he goes back into the corner and shoots another three. And he misses. The rebound taken by DeAndre Hunter. He goes to Trey Young. Trey will bring it up across. Trey dribbles behind a pick. Trey down the lane. Trey fakes in the corner. John Collins didn't shoot it. Now he fakes. Goes out to Bogey. Bogey will shoot it. And he misses the three. And the rebound taken by Al Horford. Al gets it up ahead down to White. White coming across, driving to the basket. He gets it blocked by Clint Capella. And it goes out of bounds. It's going to be Hawks ball. And we'll get a timeout call here. Celtics. Celtics are all arguing about the call. Josh Tibbin says it's Hawks ball, however. So we get the timeout, the first one of the game. It's called by Boston. We are at 5.14 to go in the first quarter. It's tied at 18 on the Hawks radio network. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay, here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard full hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in my bear cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877 go Scanner or visit scanaenergy.com slash hawks. And use promo code Hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. It takes heart to win, and the Atlanta Hawks have what it takes. That's why every Atlanta Hawk proudly wears the Share Care jersey patch on their chest. But you are the heart of this team. We need you to show some heart to help Atlanta win on and off the court. Join the Hawks and Share Care on our goal to improve the health of our city, our state, because we are all together better. Go to sharecare.com slash heart. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. 5-14 to play in the opening quarter. Hawks and Celtics tied at 18. Game 5 of this best of 7 series. The Celtics leading three games to one. The numbers to play for tonight brought to you by the Georgia Lottery. Today could be the day. and The only number that stands out so far is the number 7, and that comes in fast break points where the Celtics are outscoring the Hawks 7 to nothing. But the Hawks keeping it close because they've made two of their first four three-pointers. Steve? All right, Mike, thank you. The Hawks hanging in here the first few moments of this game. 5-14 to go in the first quarter. Malcolm Brogdon will come into the game now for the Celtics. He was presented with the sixth man of the year trophy before the game by Beth Havlicek, John Havlicek's wife, the late John Havlicek, who was probably the greatest sixth man in the history of the NBA. He left us too soon. He was a picture of health, and then he got Parkinson's. He went pretty quickly after that. What a great guy, though. John Havlicek, and it was good to see Beth Havlicek and their daughter here to present that to Malcolm Brogdon. 
So the Hawks have the ball a lot of the time out. Sadiq Bey has come into the game now. And Bogey has gone out. And then it comes down. DeAndre Hunter leaves it for Trey Young. Trey's off to a good start. Nine points in the game at the beginning. We're about to hit five minutes to go. Trey jacks up a long three, and he misses that one. The rebound's going to be taken away now by White. White comes back. Under five to go in the quarter. White across on the left wing. Goes in the middle. Robert Williams has come in now for the Celtics as well. He goes to White. White alley-oop, and Williams gets. Robert Williams gets his first two, 20 to 18, Celtics lead. Here comes Trey Young back now. Trey dribbles out of the key, out to John Collins. Open three by Johnny is good. The Hawks need that tonight. John Collins hits his fifth of the series, 21 20. Hawks lead by a point. Now it's Jalen Brown back outside to Al Horford in the middle. Al goes over to White. White right down the lane. Floater is off the rim and in. Derek White gets his first two, 22 21, Celtics lead. Now Trey back on the right wing. Trey dribbles towards the middle, and we're going to get an offensive foul called against the Hawks on John Collins. Offensive foul on is number 20, John So John talks to the official and doesn't get much satisfaction out of that. And Yeka Kongu has come in now for Clint Capella. We told you Sadiq Bey came in for bogey, and now it's going to be brought up by Derek White. Celtics lead by a point. White gets it to Al Horford, out, out of Brown. Brown dribbling in the middle, picked up by John Collins. Brown trying to drive. He lays it up and no good. Good job by John that time. And the rebound, and Yekka Kongu out to Trey Young. Trey goes way across over to Sadiq Bay. His shot blocked, and it's going to be saved right to Sadiq. And what are they going? They said it was out of bounds off the Celtics, so it'll be Hawks' ball. Al Horford comes out. Sam Hauser is in. Jalen Johnson checks in for the Hawks now for the first time. And it comes in play to Trey. Trey behind a pick in the middle. Goes left side out to DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre back underneath. And Yekka had it stolen. And Yekka gets it back. Now he gets it outside. Jalen Johnson's three is good. Jalen knocks down a three-pointer. That's his third of the series. And the Hawks take a two-point lead. 24-22 with 3.35 to go in the first. Derek White back outside. He goes down to Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon dribbling in the middle against DeAndre Hunter. Brogdon gets the pick from Williams. Goes around it. Now he moves to the head of the key. Now it goes into the lane. Steps back. Foul line jumper is good. Malcolm Brogdon gets his first two. We're tied again, this time at 24. Trey Young back. 3.15 to go in the quarter. Trey way outside against Jalen Brown. Trey dribbles right. Trey outside to Jalen again for a three. And he misses this one. The rebound, though, on Yekka Okongu, but he lost it, but he got fouled, I believe. He did. It's a foul on Boston. Much to the chagrin of the crowd here, they picked up a foul. Malcolm Brogdon gets the first foul for the Celtics of the quarter. And now it's going to be put in play by DeAndre Hunter. Tied up at 24. Out it comes to Trey in the middle. Trey behind the pick. Now he gets picked up out there by White. Right side he goes, DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre baseline. Floater is no good. Rebound though, Sadiq Bay. And there's a whistle. Another foul, I think, on Boston. It is. And we'll get a timeout called by the Hawks. The foul is on Robert Williams. That's his first, second team foul. So it'll be Hawks ball when we come back. We've got 2.55 to go in the first quarter. It's tied at 24 on the Hawks Radio Network. Planet Fitness is the one and only judgment-free zone. That means for just $10 a month, you can work out at your own pace and just do you. However you want, whenever you want. Get free fitness training and tons of cardio and strength equipment, plus a totally friendly staff for just $10 a month with absolutely no judgment. We want you to be you for just $10 a month. Come in for a free tour or join online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the official fitness partner of your Atlanta Hawks. Join now for just $10 a month. Annual membership be applied. Participating locations only. See club for details. Ready to bank at a place where your success and the success of your local community matters? Look no further than Georgia Zone. As a not-for-profit financial institution, Georgia Zone offers better rates, fewer fees, and the assurance of knowing that you and your goals are what matter most. Whether you're looking for a checking account with all the perks, a low-rate credit card, or even an auto loan, Georgia Zone can help. To learn more, visit georgiazone.org. Georgia Zone Credit Union. Banking on purpose. Georgia Zone is federally insured by the NCUA. 
The all-electric BMW iX M60. It's 100% electric and 100% BMW. Sustainably crafted, sporty, and equipped with a complete suite of intuitive technology, all with a range of up to 280 miles. With iconic BMW M handling and exquisite attention to detail, the BMW iX M60 is electricity in its ultimate form. BMW, the ultimate electric driving machine. Hello, I'm George Washington, the founder of our country, and also the face on the big bill scratches from the Georgia Lottery, along with my homies Jefferson, Lincoln, Hamilton. Oh, if only we had big bill scratches back then with a chance to win up to one million dollars. We would have been, as the young people say, party animals! <laughs> They're back, and they brought their money. Win up to one million dollars on the big bill's family of scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. Hawks and Celtics tied at 24 with 2.55 to go in the first quarter. Remember, if the Hawks win tonight, game six will be in Atlanta on Thursday, and there are some limited tickets remaining for that game, which will be played at State Farm Arena Thursday night. Secure your spot now by visiting hawks.com slash playoffs. Steve? All right, Mike, thank you. So far, so good. Hawks tied at 24. Dre off to a good start, four of eight, one of two on his threes. Got a couple of assists to go with his nine points. Hawks are shooting 10 of 21, four of nine on their threes. Celtics 10 of 19 and two of six on their threes. They've made two for two on the free throws. The Hawks have not tried one yet. It will be Atlanta ball out of the timeout. We've got 2.55 to go in the first quarter. Yeka uh, Kongu stays out there for the Hawks. Sadiq Bay, Trey is going to stay out there. Most of you know DeJounte Murray was suspended for tonight's game, so he's not available. So Trey's going to be playing more minutes, that's for sure. Jalen Johnson's out there. And DeAndre stays on the floor as well. So DeAndre Hunter will put it in play, and he gets it out to Trey in the middle. 12 on the 24. Ray Young behind the pick. Ray into the lane. Gets it outside. And Yeka Kongu for a three. And he makes it. He knocks down the straightaway three. And Yeka with his first three of the series. And the Hawks lead 27 to 24. Celtics back and they get trapped in the corner. Tatum has it. Tatum gets it up ahead now to Brogdon who comes up across. Malcolm Brogdon in the middle to Williams. Robert Williams hands it now on the left side. He goes to Tatum. Tatum trying to move in. Can't do it. Nine on the 24. He gets it back outside. Williams to Tatum. Tatum into the left corner. Tatum throws it across court. Hauser gets it outside. Now Brogdon. Brogdon down the lane. A floater is no good. Rebound tipped in the air. It's taken by Sadiq Bay. Sadiq's going to come back across. Sadiq outside with it. 2.07 to go in the corner. Out to Trey. Trey Young way out there against Smart. Now Trey dribbles left into the corner. Trey gets doubled. Throws it out. DeAndre Hunter. Now to Sadiq Bay. They get it underneath. And Yucca turns, fakes, leads, throws it back out. DeAndre Hunter with three, two, one. DeAndre down the lane. Left hander off the glass. No good. And the rebound's going to be pulled down by Brogdon. Got to make those layups tonight, too. And now coming back, Brogdon goes left side. Tatum, three pointer. No good. Rebounded Yucca Kongu. And he had it knocked out of bounds with a B Hawks ball. Could have been a foul on Boston. Well, they did call a foul. They did call it on Williams. That's two on Williams. First in the last two, so it's not a shooting foul. We've got 137 to go in the first quarter. Hawks will put it in play in the backcourt with Anyeka Kongu. Marcus Smart yelling at Josh Tiffin. And now in it comes the train. Ray's going to come up across on the right wing. Ray way out there now, dribbling behind a bogey pick. Ray down the lane, floater by Trey is no good. Got to make those two tonight. Now coming back, it's Smart. Marcus Smart, left wing. Goes in the middle. It goes out to Tatum. Tatum uh, throws it back outside. They go to Smart for a three, and he misses. A rebound, and Yekka Kongu. And Yekka gets it to Trey Young. Minute five to go in the first. Trey in the middle. Trey drives. Trey dribbles behind his back. He drives, lays it up. No good. No foul. He got knocked down. They didn't call it. 
Trey has driven to the basket more than any player in the playoffs this year and has only got two foul calls. Here's Hauser from the corner, and he hits a three. And that ties the game at 27. Trey has been only to the line twice on drives, and he had driven 91 times in the playoffs. He fakes the three down in the middle. Sadiq Bay shoots a three and makes the three. Sadiq knocks down the three-pointer. That's his fifth of the series. And the Hawks lead 30-27. to 27. 33 seconds to go in the first quarter. Jason Tatum comes back up. Tatum dribbles in the middle. He fires a three. It was partially blocked and now taken by Jalen Johnson. Hawks will hold for the last shot here. Celtics are over the limit as Trey dribbles outside. There's a difference of three on the two clocks. Trey directing traffic. He's guarded by Sam Hauser. Now Trey still directing traffic. It's down to nine. Trey is getting ready to make a move here. He drives, pulls up, gets it over. Now Jalen Johnson for a three, and he misses. He was wide open. And now we're getting a foul against the Hawks in the backcourt. It's only the first in the last two minutes, though. It's on Sadiq Bay. Hawks have to try to take advantage of every opportunity they get tonight. So now it's 2.6 to go in the quarter. The Celtics put it in play. And from midcourt, the heave is no good by Rodman. And that is the end of the first. And how about these Atlanta Hawks, folks? Shorthanded. They're up by three after one. Your score here in Boston. It is the Hawks 30 and the Celtics 27 on the Hawks Radio Network. At NerdWallet, we often see people blocked when making financial decisions. Take Harold. Coach, these credit card offers, they're everywhere. Harold, look, it's tough out there, but you have got this. With NerdWallet on your team, you will make the smartest play with side-by-side -side comparisons of top credit cards. Whoa. A card that rewards me for buying sports gear. Let's go get that cash back, team. Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. Why? Just think about it. Why is the number one selling brand of chainsaws not sold in Lowe's or the Home Depot? We can give you over 10,000 reasons. That's how many authorized local steel dealers you can find across the country. Visit one and you'll find a range of dependable gas and battery powered tools from trimmers to blowers. And you'll find service from experienced professionals. Real steel. Find yours at steelusa.com. Lowe's and Home Depot are trademarks of their respective companies. I'm Howard Mackler, founder of Innovation Refunds. You've heard me talking about the payroll tax refund for months. If you own a business, even if you've asked your CPA about this, you owe it to yourself to take another look. We provide a licensed and insured tax attorney who evaluates your company at my expense to determine eligibility. Businesses of all types can qualify, so go to GetRefunds.com to potentially get a payroll tax refund of up to $26,000 per employee. Download the Innovation Refunds app or go to GetRefunds.com, GetRefunds.com. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. One quarter in the books in Boston. Hawks lead the Celtics 30-27. to 27. Hawks shooting 44%, 6 of 11 on their threes. Celtics also at 44%, but 3 of 11 on their threes. Trey Young has nine points to lead the Hawks. John Collins with five. Jalen Brown has 11 to lead the Celtics. Jason Tatum, just four. He's 0 for 4 from three. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Atlanta Hawks radio network. This is the game. the game. Live from the Kia Studios. The Atlanta Hawks play here. WZGC and WZGC HD1 Atlanta. Yes. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Well, one quarter in the books here in Boston, and the Hawks have the lead, 30-27. to 27. Trey played the entire first quarter. Ended up 4 of 8, 1 of 2 on threes. He had 4 assists, 9 points. Hawks ended up 6 of 11 on their threes, which was very good. The Celtics were 3 of 11 on their three-pointers. Both teams shot 44% in that first quarter. We'll see who comes out here to start the second. Aaron Holiday is in the mix tonight, I'm sure, because DeJounte is out on that suspension. If we do play a game six, though, he'll be back in action. The Celtics have Brockton out there. Tatum is on the floor. Hauser stays out there. Robert Williams. Fox will come back out now. Aaron Holiday is in the game now. Trey, after playing the whole first quarter, comes out. It's Sadiq Bay, Bogey, Nanyeka Kongu, Jalen Johnson, and Aaron Holiday. 
So it will be Boston ball to start the second quarter because the Hawks won the opening tip. And Marcus Smart will put it in play. The Hawks are going to show a little pressure, but it comes in now to Brogdon. So the second quarter is underway. Hawks lead by three. Brogdon's going to bring it up against Aaron Holiday. Brogdon had it knocked away, but he gets it back. Now out he goes to Marcus Smart. Smart in the middle behind a Tatum pick. Smart drives. Left-hander is off the rim and out, but he got fouled. So he'll go to the line. They're going to call it on Jalen Johnson. So Marcus Smart will go to the line. The Celtics are two for two from the line. The Hawks have not tried a free throw. As Smart will shoot two. He is two of four in the series through the first four games. And now he gets ready here for a couple. And his first is good. Celtics are shooting 80% during the series. Smart ready to shoot one more now. And the second one is no good in the rebound, Jalen Johnson. So the Hawks are up by two and have the ball. Aaron Holiday will bring it up and across. We're just underway in the second. Aaron dribbling in the middle. Picked up by Hauser out there. Now left side, Bogey. Corner three. Bogey is good. Bogey knocks down the three-pointer. That's his 12th of the series. And the Hawks lead 33-28, a five-point lead for the first time. Down to Celtics have it. They go on an alley-oop, and Williams jams it home. Williams took the pass from Tatum, and it's 33-30, Hawks lead. Here's Aaron Holiday right down the lane. Throws it back outside. It's tipped it out of bounds. It'll be Hawks. Oh, wait, they say nobody tips it. So it'll be Celtics ball. Now they put it in play. And here comes Marcus Smart. Smart up across. Two-hand pass in the middle to Williams. Williams back over to Tatum on the right side. Jason Tatum driving down the lane. He's left-hander good. And that'll make it 33-32. The Hawks lead is a point. 10.50 to go, second quarter. Now Bogey out on the right wing this time behind a pick. Bogey, baseline, gets swallowed up. Out he goes to Aaron. Aaron Holiday in the middle. Aaron Holiday drives for the hole. Now he turns and leads, throws it out to Onyeka. Foul line floater is no good. Rebound batted back out, though, but it's taken by Brogdon. Brogdon comes back for the Celtics. Brogdon lost it. Aaron Holiday is on the floor. He almost had it, but now they get it back underneath. They're going to blow a whistle here. What are they going to get? I think a foul on Brogdon. Uh, uh, oh, a timeout. So the Celtics called time while Brogdon was on the floor there to keep the ball. So it will be Boston ball when we come back for a very quick timeout. We've got 10.28 to go in the second quarter. It's the Hawks 33, Celtics 32, Hawks Radio Network. At NerdWallet, we often see people blocked when making financial decisions. Take Harold. Coach, these credit card offers, they're everywhere. Harold, look, it's tough out there, but you have got this. With Nerd Wallet on your team, you will make the smartest play with side-by-side -side comparisons of top credit cards. Whoa, a card that rewards me for buying sports gear. Let's go get that cash back, team. Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. I'm attorney Ken Nugent. And I'm Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins. I'm proud to be teaming up with the Atlanta Hawks Foundation to provide scholarships for kids to attend basketball camp. The mission of the Atlanta Hawks Foundation is to help Atlanta's youth learn life skills through basketball. Check out AtlantaHawks.com in the community section. Get involved. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Hawks. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast, Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. You hearing this? It sounds like... And it's a playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. That nonstop, claw your way to the top, give it all you got type of thing. From inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you fired on all cylinders. Now, back to the game on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. 
10-28 to play in the first half. The Hawks lead the Celtics 33-32. to Cheer on your Hawks during this playoff run with official team swag. Only available at the Hawks Shop. Happening right now at hawkshop.com. Our special deals and discounts you won't find anywhere else. Find the Hawk swag that speaks to your style at hawkshop.com. Steve? All right, Mike, thank you. We've got 10.28 to go here in the second quarter. It's going to be Boston ball because they called timeout on that loose ball on the floor. Aaron Holiday did a good job to knock it away. So the Celtics will have the ball with 15 on the 24. Of course, we have the extended timeouts again because of national TV. It's TNT tonight. It's the national TV. The Celtics are back out on the floor now. The Hawks are still in the huddle. And now the 15-second horn sounds for them to come out. And they stay with Yindyaka Kongru, Aaron Holiday, Sadiq Bey, Jalen Johnson, and Bogey Bogdanovich. Hawks, 7 of 12 on threes. That's helped immensely here tonight. Try to hang in here without DeJounte. And now it's going to be Marcus Smart to put it in play for the Celtics. He goes way outside to Al Horford, who's back in the game. Now he goes over to Tatum. Tatum drives back to Al. Now in the corner they go Hauser. Three-pointer by Hauser is no good. Rebound taken by Sadiq Bay. And he clears it now to Bogey Bogdanovich. Bogey's going to bring it up. Coming to 10 minutes to go in the second. Bogey way outside. Now goes to Anyeka. Anyeka bounces once. Now looks, goes back out to Sadiq Bey with 10. Sadiq dribbles, shoots a three, and he makes another three. Sadiq Bey knocks down his second three of the game. And the Hawks take a lead by four now, 36-32. Under 10 to go in the quarter. Here's Tatum back. Tatum dribbling in the middle. Tatum trying to drive on Anyeka. He pushed off. Now he throws it out to Smart. Smart fakes the drive. Down the lane. Left-hander is good off the glass. Smart's got six. Hawks lead is two. 9.40 to go in the second. Aaron Holiday back up for the Hawks. Aaron across in the middle. Now Aaron bounces it out to Anyeka, the high post. Goes over to Jalen Johnson, back to Bogey. Quick three by Bogey is no good, but he got fouled by Marcus Smart. So Bogey will shoot three. Smart picks up his first. He got him right on the elbow. That made it short. So no question about that foul. And now Bogey will get to shoot three with nine and a half to go in the second quarter. Bogey's only tried one this whole series. He's made it. His first is good. Hawks are going to need all hands on deck here without DeJounte tonight. And so far, every one of them that has played has scored except for Aaron Holiday. Now another one for Bogey. And he makes it. And he will shoot a third. Derek White and Jalen Brown are back in the game now. Smart goes out. Brogdon goes out. One more here for Bogey. As he tries to make three in a row from the line. And the third one is on the way, and good. So Bogey makes all three. And the Hawks now have a five-point lead for the second time, 39-34. to 34. Celtics come back up now with Jason Tatum. Tatum in the middle. Gets doubled, throws it off to Al. Three-pointer Al Horford is good. Al Horford knocks down a three-pointer. That's his seventh of the series. 39-36, Hawks lead by three again. Maybe they called that a two by Al. Now outside it goes to Nyeka Kongu. Nyeka goes left side out to Sadiq. Sadiq Bey has it. Now he dribbles towards the lane. He goes into the lane. He goes up with the left hand. It's no good, but he got fouled. So Sadiq will be at the lane, at the line. That was a two-pointer by Al, not a three. So Al Horford picks up that foul, and Sadiq Bey goes to the line. Sadiq, four of five in the series. The Hawks, 80%. First one, good. Now one more coming for City. Trying to give the Hawks that five-point lead again. And he does. So City knocks them both down, and it's 41-36. to Hawks on top here. And now it'll be brought up by Derek White. White comes across against Darren Holiday. 
White goes up high to Brown. Brown tried to spin in, couldn't do it. Now he goes behind a pick, gets it down low, Tatum. Tatum lays it up, and no good. He missed the layup, and now he misses again. And then they're going to call a foul against the Hawks, a loose ball foul. Or maybe it's on Tatum. No, they're going to call it on Adyeka. I think they called that a loose ball foul. They did. So it's on the side. And Yeka picks up the foul. It's his first. So Tatum will put it in with 14 on the 24. And he goes into out. And Horford now off to Brown. Jalen Brown driving. He looked like he walked. He stumbles, turns, right-hander is good. Jalen Brown's got 13. It's 41-38. Hawks lead. 8.25 to go. We're in the second quarter. Now it's going to be Aaron Holiday. Out he goes to Sadiq Bay. Sadiq fakes. Now gets it out. Jalen Johnson drives for the basket. Lays it in off the glassy and no good. And the rebound taken there by Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown in the middle. Now he makes a move towards the lane. He goes in the lane. Left-hander is good. And the Hawks are going to call a timeout. So the Hawks' lead is a point right now at 41-40. You've got to make all the layups tonight, and Jalen just missed one, but the Hawks will have the ball out of the timeout. So we've got 8.07 to go, second quarter. It's the Hawks 41, Celtics 40, Hawks Radio Network. It takes heart to win, and the Atlanta Hawks have what it takes. That's why every Atlanta Hawk proudly wears the Share Care jersey patch on their chest. But you are the heart of this team. We need you to show some heart to help Atlanta win on and off the court. Join the Hawks and Share Care on our goal to improve the health of our city, our state, because we are all together better. Go to sharecare.com slash heart. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in the Bear Cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877 go Scanner or visit ScanaEnergy.com slash Hawks. And use promo code Hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. I'm attorney Ken Nugent. And I'm Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins. I'm proud to be teaming up with the Atlanta Hawks Foundation to provide scholarships for kids to attend basketball camp. The mission of the Atlanta Hawks Foundation is to help Atlanta's youth learn life skills through basketball. Check out AtlantaHawks.com in the community section. Get involved. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Hawks. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast, Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. Hawks 41, Celtics 40, 8.07 to play in the first half up in Boston. Two games later tonight, the NBA playoffs tipping off about an hour from now in Denver. The Nuggets hosting the Timberwolves. Denver with a chance to close that series out in five tonight. Clippers will be at the Suns at 10 Eastern time tonight. Same deal for Phoenix. They can close out the series at game five tonight. Steve? Well, Jason Tatum went briefly to the locker room during that timeout, but he just came back out. So I guess whatever he had done was not anything serious. So it's 8.07 to go in the second. Hawks lead by a point, 41 to 40. They've led by five three different times. They led 33 48, 39 34, and then 41 36. The Celtics have led by four twice. The last time they led by four, it was 15 to 11. And we've had five different ties. The last time it was tied was 27 all. So the Hawks are going to come back now. Trey Young is coming back into the game. He's out there with Bogey. DeAndre Hunter is back in. And Yekka Kongu stays out there in Sadiq Bay. 
Oh, so they, you know, when Al Horford hit, I said it was a three, and they called it a two, and now they looked at it, they've called it a three. So the game is actually tied now at 41. So even from the corner here, I called that one right. So now it's going to be Trey Young to bring it up. We're in a tie game, eight minutes to go second. Trey dribbles in the middle, picked up by Jalen Brown. Now Trey bounces, looks, gets it out to Bogey. 10 on the 24. Bogey, down low, gets it to Onyeka. Onyeka gets swallowed up under there. He goes back up and got it blocked. And now he gets it back out to Trey. Three seconds, two. He shoots a straightaway three, and it's no good. And Sadiq Bay gets the rebound. Sadiq's going to fight his way back up and gets it blocked. And they're going to call a jump ball. Sadiq may have been better to kick that out. But they'll jump it up now. If the Hawks win the tip, they'll have 10 on the 24. So they're ready to jump, and the tip controlled by the Celtics. And they bring it up with Derek White. White goes over to Al Horford. Left side three by Al is no good. Rebound batted in the air, and Bogey has it. Bogey comes back up on the right wing. Bogey Bogdanovich now dribbling in the middle. As it knocked away, it goes out of bounds off of the Celtics. So it'll still be Hawks ball. 16 on the 24. We've got 7.23 to go in the second quarter in a tie game now at 41. Johnny Collins is going to come back in for the Hawks now. John is in. And who's going to go out? Bogey's going out. Robert Williams comes back in now for the Celtics. Jason Tatum comes out. I think he had a bandage put on his left thumb, it looked like. Now they go out to Trey. Trey down the lane. Trey's floater is off the rim, and they're going to call an offensive foul. Well, they call traveling on Trey. They called a traveling violation. So it'll be Celtics ball. 7-18 to go in the second quarter. And now Derek White will bring it up. White comes across, dribbles in the middle now, takes it towards the lane, throws it back out to Brown. Brown makes the move, dribbling behind his back for a moment. Now he pushes off of the lane and lost it. Trey gets it. Trey goes up ahead, John Collins. John's going to drive right to the basket. He goes up and got it stripped and stolen. No, John... Didn't know what to do with that one. Now they get it outside, and the three-pointer by Brockman is good. A big turnover by John Collins. And now it's going to be DeAndre Hunter out to John. John in the middle, Trey Young. Hawks trailing by three now. Trey dribbling, driving, kicks it back out. John Collins, three-pointer is good. John Collins just quieted the crowd with a three, and the Hawks have tied the game now at 44. As Malcolm Brogdon comes back, Brogdon's trying to drive in the lane, throws it back outside. Now they go out to Brown. Three-pointer by Brown is good. Jalen Brown hits a three. That is 47 to 44. Celtics lead by three. Trey Young back now on the left wing. 6-10 to go, second quarter. Trey dribbles towards the baseline. Now gets it out to John. Another three-point try is no good this time. Rebound Sadiq Bay, though. Sadiq's going to go back up and in. Sadiq Bay with a hustle basket. And the Hawks will cut it to a point, 47 to 46. Under six to go in quarter number two as Brogdon comes back. Now Brogdon pushes off again with the left arm. He goes in and lays it in. 49-46. Hawks down by three. Sadiq Bay to bring it back for the Hawks. Sadiq bouncing way outside with it. Now moves with a left side pass, Trey Young. Trey out there against Brogdon. Now Trey stops and threw it away. He threw it towards the Hawks bench and it went out of bounds. Lynn Capella's back in, and Yeka Kongu goes out. Lynn Snyder has a little talk with him on the way out. And now Brogdon's going to bring it back. 5.25 to go in the second. Brogdon dribbles left, shoots a long one, and hits. That's a two pointer. 51 46. Brogdon's got nine. Hawks down by five now for the first time. Trey Young back. Trey gets mugged. Kicks it back out. John Collins, a three-pointer, is no good. And the rebound is taken away by the Celtics. And here they come with Jalen Brown. Brown kicks it off in the corner. White for a three, and he makes it. And the Hawks are to call timeout. 
You got to make all the shots tonight to have a chance. And right now, John Collins, two for five on his threes. Hawks are nine of 17 overall, 53%. Still good. But they've given up a couple down to the Celtics. So a timeout, 4.56 to go. It's the Celtics 54, Hawks 46, Hawks Radio Network. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay, here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard fuel hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in the Bear Cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk, my family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877 go Scanner or visit ScanaEnergy.com slash Hawks and use promo code Hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. I think that was a good timeout by Quinn Snyder. 4.56 to go in the second quarter. The Hawks have suddenly fallen down by eight. This is one of those games without DeJounte tonight playing in Boston. They're going to have to try to do everything right. And now Trey will bring it up. Trey dribbles in the middle. Now he stops. Way outside he goes, DeAndre Hunter. Dre dribbles down the lane, pulls up for a little right hander. It's good. Much needed basket by DeAndre Hunter. Hawks have cut it to six now. 54 48. Four and a half to go in the quarter. Driving. Brogdon goes up and in, and he got fouled. So they've gone right at the Hawks again, just like they've done in the other games. And Brogdon will go to the line. DeAndre Hunter picks up the foul. Brogdon now in double figures with 11. Tatum is back in. White goes out. And now Brogdon with a chance at a three-point play with 4.32 to go in the second. Free throw is good. So now it's a nine-point lead for the first time. 57 to 48. Hawks are trailing, and now Trey Young dribbles left, throws it outside. Now they go in the corner. And a three pointer by Sadiq Bay is no good. It rattles out. Rebound's going to be pulled down by Jalen Brown. Brown coming back up in the middle now against Sadiq. Brown drives right to the basket, lays it up and in. That's 20 point half for Jalen Brown, and it's 59 48. Hawks are down by 11 now. Outside, John Collins didn't shoot it this time. Gets it to Sadiq Bay. Sadiq drives the leg, goes up with the right hand. It's Ron Riveting. Sadiq's got a dozen. 59-50, Hawks trail. And now Brogdon back. Brogdon behind an Al Horford pick, shoots a three. And he misses the rebound, second there by DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre gets it underneath. John Collins has it. Back out. DeAndre, left side three is short. Rebound taken by the Celtics, and Brogdon now gets it ahead. Brown drives and lays it up and in. Hawks are down by 11 again. 61 to 50. Trey back, and alley oop underneath is tipped and stolen. Turnover. And now here come the Celtics again. Brogdon goes in the middle. Tatum lays it in. So now it's a 13 point game. 63 to 50. Hawks are trailing. Trey Young brings it back. Crowd into it now. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Trey outside. Trey dribbles down the lane. Floater is good. Very quiets the crowd a bit. 63 52. Hawks down by 11. 2.49 to go in the quarter. Celtics back down. Brogdon. Brogdon in the middle. Tries to drive on Trey. Can't do it yet. Now he pushes off. They don't call it. They get it outside now. Tatum for a three. And he misses. The rebound taken by Trey Young. Trey comes back. Trey in the middle. Pulls up. Three pointer on the way. And off the back rim. No good. Rebound's going to be pulled down by Tatum. Tatum drives. There's a foul on Trey. The Celtics are looking for a take foul, but it's not going to be. 
He went for the ball. Gray picks up his first. That's the fourth against the Hawks. Bogey is back out there. Sadiq Bay goes out. Sadiq's done a good job. Four of seven, two of three on his threes, four rebounds, 12 points. So now the Celtics put it in play to Malcolm Brogdon. Brogdon hands it out to Tatum. Tatum whips it back in the corner now to Marcus Smart. Smart backs in. Turn around right hander is short. Rebound taken by Clint Capella, and he gets fouled by Marcus Smart. That's the third foul against the Celtics. So the Hawks down by 11 with 2.16 to go in the half. Well, he's going to put it in play now to Trey. Trey Young will bring it up. Trey comes across against Marcus Smart. Way up high to Bogey. Bogey back to Trey. Trey now dribbles right, gets pushed. They don't call it. Now he gets pushed again. Now he goes behind the pick, gets pushed again, drives the lane, puts it up off the rim and in. Trey must have gotten fouled about three times on that play. And now here comes Marcus Smart back. 63-54, Hawks down by nine. Smart dribbling towards the lane. In the lane, little right hander is good. Celtics have had a lot of easy baskets inside at 65-54. Hawks down by 11. Now Trey Young back. Minute 35 to go in the quarter. Trey bounces it in the lane. Gets it to John Collins, who lost it, then get it back. Now he turns. He gets knocked down. No call. Clint Capella has it. Now back to John. John Collins backing in. Turning. Little right-hand hook shot is good. John's in double figures with 10. Hawks down by 9 again. 65-56, a minute 17 to go in the quarter. And now Marcus Smart coming back. Smart, looks like he walked. He got it out to Williams. Williams, head of the key, now goes right side to Brown. Jalen Brown, down the lane again. Flips it up, no good. Rebound, there's a foul on the Celtics. Foul on the Celtics under the basket on Williams. That's going to be his third. That's three on Williams. So that'll bring Al back into the game. It's only the first in the last two minutes, though. So Al Horford back in. Williams goes out with that third foul. Hawks hanging in pretty good here without DeJounte tonight. And now John Collins in the backcourt will put it in play. And he does, gets it in the tray. Trey calling the play from the backcourt as he brings it up. Now we're under a minute to go in the second quarter. Trey behind a pick by DeAndre Hunter. And Trey moves in on Al. Takes it down the lane. Turns it up and got a block. Rebound taken there by Brown. Brown comes back. Trey just got hit in the face. And they're going to call a foul on Boston. Offensive foul. Trey got hit right in the face that time by Brown. So, it's on Jalen Brown. It's his first. So Trey took it right in the kisser. From Jalen Brown. And now it's going to be Hawks ball on the side. 50.6 to go in the quarter. Down by nine. Bogey's going to put it in play. He does to Trey in the middle. Trey now. Way out there against Tatum. Left side pass. Gets it back. Now Trey setting it up out there. Still plenty of time. 12 on the 24. Trey looking. Now driving. Backs up. Tricky dribbles. Shoots a foul line floater. And it's off the rim and bounces in. Good job by Trey that time. It's 65-58. Hawks down by seven. 27 seconds to go in the quarter. Celtics back now. Jalen Brown. Brown backs in. It's poked away. And they call the foul on Trey. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Brown is at the line. The Hawks are over the limit. Well, they're not showing a replay of that foul. I don't think it was a foul. Trey had a steal there. But now Brown will shoot two. And his first is off the rim. No good. 22.7. The Hawks will hold for the last shot. Sadiq Bay is in the game now. Clint Capella goes out. And one more for Jalen Brown. And here's his second. It's good. So Brown makes one of two. Celtics lead down by eight, 66 58. 
Trey Young will bring it up. Both sides are over the limit on foul. Trey across out there against Malcolm Brogdon. Trey dribbling way outside. Now it's down to 10. Trey gets a high pick from John Collins. Now it's down to five. A long three is on the way and no good. The rebound's going to be pulled down with two seconds left, and that will be the end of the half. So the Hawks have hung in here without DeAndre, uh, and without DeJounte, who's out with the suspension tonight. So they've done a good job so far. The Celtics are up by eight. So your score at the half, it's Boston 66, Atlanta 58. Mike will be back with halftime in a moment, Hawks Radio Network. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay, here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard fuel hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. It takes heart to win, and the Atlanta Hawks have what it takes. That's why every Atlanta Hawk proudly wears the Share Care jersey patch on their chest. But you are the heart of this team. We need you to show some heart to help Atlanta win on and off the court. Join the Hawks and Share Care on our goal to improve the health of our city, our state, because we are all together better. Go to sharecare.com slash heart. Never. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in the Bear Cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877-GO-SCANA or visit scanaenergy.com slash hawks. And use promo code hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. And that's the end of the half. It's halftime. And this is our Hawks halftime show with Mike Conti. Breaking down the first half of today's game. On the Atlanta Hawks radio network. Here's Mike Conti. Well, the Hawks hanging in there in a must-win game tonight in Boston. They trailed the Celtics by eight at halftime, 66-58. to 58. Boston is led by as much as 13, but the Hawks, like I said, doing just enough, especially from the three-point line, to keep the deficit manageable, and the Hawks at one point themselves led by five points. Hawks shooting 44%, 9 of 21 on their threes. Celtics at 55%, 7 of 19 on their threes. 15 points for Trey Young to lead the Hawks. Sadiq Bey has 12. John Collins with 10. Six for Bogey McDonavich, five for DeAndre Hunter. Clint Capella with four points. Three for Inyeka Akangu and Jalen Johnson. Jalen Brown, 23 points in the first half for the Celtics. Malcolm Brogdon had 12. Jason Tatum has eight, but he's only three of 11 from the floor. Marcus Smart also with eight points. Five for Derek White. Four for Robert Williams. Three for Al Horford and Sam Hauser. Rebounds 22 to 19 in favor of Boston. The assists 15 to 12 also in favor of Boston. The Celtics with an eight-point lead on the Hawks at halftime, 66 to 58. We'll look at scores from around the league after this on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. Ready to bank at a place where your success and the success of your local community matters? Look no further than Georgia Zone. As a not-for-profit financial institution, Georgia Zone offers better rates, fewer fees, and the assurance of knowing that you and your goals are what matter most. Whether you're looking for a checking account with all the perks, a low-rate credit card, or even an auto loan, Georgia Zone can help. To learn more, visit georgiazone.org. Georgia's own credit union, banking on purpose. Georgia's own is federally insured by the NCUA. The BMW i4 M50. It's 100% electric and 100% BMW. Experience the power of over 500 horses stampeding at a whisper as BMW M-engineered handling takes you through every twist and turn. 
The complete suite of intuitive technology keeps you connected. The pure performance keeps your heart racing. The BMW i4 M50. Silence has never said so much. BMW, the ultimate electric driving machine. Planet Fitness is the one and only judgment-free zone. That means for just $10 a month, you can work out at your own pace and just do you, however you want, whenever you want. Get free fitness training and tons of cardio and strength equipment, plus a totally friendly staff for just $10 a month with absolutely no judgment. We want you to be you for just $10 a month. Come in for a free tour or join online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the official fitness partner of your Atlanta Hawks. Join now for just $10 a month. Annual membership fee applies. Participating locations only. See club for details. Hello, I'm George Washington, the founder of our country, and also the face on the Big Bill scratches from the Georgia Lottery, along with my homies Jefferson, Lincoln, Hamilton. Oh, if only we had Big Bill scratches back then with a chance to win up to one million dollars. We would have been, as the young people say, party animals! <laughs> They're back, and they brought their money. Win up to one million dollars on the Big Bill's family of scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. We have reached halftime. Back to more of our halftime show. With Mike Conti on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. Hawks trailing by eight in Boston tonight. 66 to 58 at halftime. Game five of this best of seven series. The Hawks need to win to extend it. If the Celtics win, the series is over. And two other teams are in the same boat as the Celtics tonight, both with chances to advance with home game wins in game five. Denver hosting Minnesota. That game tips off in about 30 minutes, and about 90 minutes from now in Phoenix, it'll be the Clippers at the Suns. Nuggets and Suns lead those respective series three games to one. Tomorrow, there are three closeout games potentially with the road team in position to advance. Knicks at the Cavaliers, game five of that series. Knicks up three games to one. Lakers at the Grizzlies. Lakers up three games to one in that series. Miami, the eighth seed in the East, on the verge of a huge upset over the Milwaukee Bucks. Game five in Milwaukee at 9.30 Eastern tomorrow. And then at 10 Eastern tomorrow, it's Golden State and Sacramento. That series is tied at two games apiece. Hawks down by eight at halftime. They need to overcome the deficit to keep their season alive. We'll have first half highlights coming up next on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. The all-electric BMW iX M60. It's 100% electric and 100% BMW. Sustainably crafted, sporty, and equipped with a complete suite of intuitive technology, all with a range of up to 280 miles. With iconic BMW M handling and exquisite attention to detail, the BMW iX M60 is electricity in its ultimate form. BMW, the ultimate electric driving machine. Hello, I'm George Washington, the founder of our country, and also the face on the Big Bill scratches from the Georgia Lottery, along with my homies Jefferson, Lincoln, Hamilton. Oh, if only we had Big Bill scratches back then with a chance to win up to one million dollars. We would have been, as the young people say, party animals! <laughs> They're back, and they brought their money. Win up to one million dollars on the Big Bill's family of scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Ready to bank at a place where your success and the success of your local community matters? Look no further than Georgia Zone. As a not-for-profit financial institution, Georgia Zone offers better rates, fewer fees, and the assurance of knowing that you and your goals are what matter most. Whether you're looking for a checking account with all the perks, a low-rate credit card, or even an auto loan, Georgia Zone can help. To learn more, visit georgiazone.org. Georgia Zone Credit Union. Banking on purpose. Georgia Zone is federally insured by the NCUA. Planet Fitness is the one and only judgment-free zone. That means for just $10 a month, you can work out at your own pace and just do you, however you want, whenever you want. Get free fitness training and tons of cardio and strength equipment, plus a totally friendly staff for just $10 a month with absolutely no judgment. We want you to be you for just $10 a month. Come in for a free tour or join online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the official fitness partner of your Atlanta Hawks. Join now for just $10 a month. Annual membership fee applies. Participating locations only. See club for details. We have reached halftime. Back to more of our halftime show. With Mike Conti on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. Hawks in a do or die situation up in Boston. They're not quite dead yet, trailing the Celtics at halftime 66 to 58. Hawks have, down by, uh, have been down by as much as 13 in the game tonight. They have led by as much as five. 
Here are the first half highlights. And the tip control by the Hawks. And we are underway. And it's going to be right to left for the Hawks. Trey Young fires a three right away and makes it. Well, there you go. Trey knocks down a three to start the game. And the Hawks take a 3 nothing lead. Trey makes a move behind the pick. Goes over to Bogey. Bogey back underneath Johnny Collins. He puts it up no good. Clint Capella the rebound no good. Tipped up by John Collins and in. So the Hawks stayed right with it. It's tied at 11. Aaron White down low to Tatum. Tatum in the corner gets doubled. Back to White under the basket. Throws it in the corner. Now Brown is open. And he hits the three. Dalen Brown's got 11 first quarter points. Celtics lead by two. Here comes Trey Young back now. Trey dribbles out of the key. Out to John Collins. Open three by Johnny is good. The Hawks need that tonight. John Collins hits his fifth of the series. 21-20. Hawks lead by a point. Trey Young behind the pick. Trey into the lane. Gets it outside. And Yekka Kongu for a three. And he makes it. He knocks down the straightaway three. And Yekka with his first three of the series. And the Hawks lead 27-24. Aaron dribbling in the middle, picked up by Hauser out there. Now left side, Bogey, corner three, Bogey is good. Bogey knocks down the three-pointer. That's his 12th of the series. And the Hawks lead 33-28. Then Sadiq dribbles, shoots a three, and he makes another three. Sadiq Bay knocks down his second three of the game. And the Hawks take a lead by four now, 36-32. Still Brown in the middle. Now he makes a move towards the lane. He goes in the lane. Left-hander is good. And the Hawks are going to call timeout. So the Hawks lead is a point right now at 41-40. And the rebound is taken away by the Celtics. And here they come with Jalen Brown. Brown kicks it off in the corner. White for a three. And he makes it. And the Hawks are going to call timeout. It's the Celtics 54, Hawks 46. Gray back. And alley-oop underneath his tip and stolen. Turnover. And now here come the Celtics again. Brogdon goes in the middle. Tatum lays it in. So now it's a 13-point game, 63 to 50. Gray looking, now driving, backs up, tricky dribbles, shoots a foul line floater, and it's off the rim and bounces in. Good job by Trey that time. It's 65-58, Hawks down by seven. So your score at the half, it's Boston 66, Atlanta 58. All right, 24 minutes to keep the season alive for the Hawks. They are right in this thing. Trey Young with 15 points, Sadiq Bay with 12. The Hawks trying to push on with DeJounte Murray suspended tonight. One thing that is really helping, they have clamped Jason Tatum to this point. Tatum only a 3 of 11 from the floor and 05 from 3. Second half from Boston coming up next. Celtics leading the Hawks in halftime, 66 to 58 on the Atlanta Hawks radio network. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jay here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard full hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in my bear cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scanner today and get up to $100. Call 877 go Scanner or visit ScanaEnergy.com slash Hawks. And use promo code Hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. It takes heart to win, and the Atlanta Hawks have what it takes. That's why every Atlanta Hawk proudly wears the Share Care jersey patch on their chest. But you are the heart of this team. We need you to show some heart to help Atlanta win on and off the court. Join the Hawks and Share Care on our goal to improve the health of our city, our state, because we are all together better. 
Go to sharecare.com slash heart. This copyrighted broadcast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of the NBA. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. All right, back again in Boston, getting set for the second half to begin here shortly. Hawks have been able to hang in here. As you know, no DeJounte Murray tonight. He's suspended by the league for that one game for bumping into the referee. Got a minus Petratus the other night. But he was here at shoot-around today supporting the guys, and he can't be in the building right now. So he's watching on TV back at the hotel, but he's here in spirit. The Hawks have done a good job. They actually led by five points at three different occasions. 41 to 36 was the last time. They got down by as many as 13 and now trail it by eight. As we get set for the third quarter to begin, it will be Boston ball to start the third because the Hawks did win the opening tip tonight. Bogey Bogdanovich has moved into the starting lineup with DeJounte out. And we're set to go now as the Celtics will go from right to left as we start this second half. And they'll put it in play. Derek White to Jason Tatum. Tatum gets it across as we are now underway in the third. Now they go up top, Tatum in the middle. Tatum guarded by John Collins. A three is good. So Tatum, who was pretty quiet in the first half, starts it out with a three-pointer. And it's 69-58. The Hawks are down by 11. Now Trey Young right side. Trey dribbles outside against White. Trey backs up, shoots a three, and he misses the three. The long rebound is going to be taken by Tatum. Tatum comes back now across on the left wing. Just underway here in the third. Tatum. Gets it up top where they go to Brown. Brown fakes and drives, throws it in the corner. Wide open, Marcus Smart. Three is no good. And DeAndre Hunter gets the rebound. He goes up ahead to Trey Young. Here comes Trey across. Trey in the middle. Trey kicks it back outside. DeAndre Hunter back to Trey in the middle. Trey bounce pass down low. Johnny Collins who gets doubled. Mug gets it back to Trey. Ten on the 24. Trey now holds it. And here's a hold. An offensive foul on John Collins. That's two on John. And in play, it'll come now to Tatum. Hawks are down by 11. Gray Maddox calling that offensive foul, and now out it comes to Al Horford. Al bounce pass in the middle, he goes to Tatum. Jason Tatum now with five. Little spins. Goes to the lane, plays it up and in. Tatum's got 13 now. The Hawks trail by 13 for the second time tonight. 71 to 58. And now Trey back in the corner. He goes DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre fakes and drives. Now to John Collins. Straight away three is no good. So John is now two of six on his threes. And here comes Brown back. He shoots a straightaway three and misses. Rebound, Clint Capella. Goes down to Trey Young. Trey comes back. Quick pass over to Bogey. Bogey bobbled, got it back. Now he dribbles back towards the middle. Goes into the lane. Little floater is good. Bogey's got eight, and the Hawks have cut it to 11. 71 to 60. Under 10 to go in the third quarter. Now Marcus Smart back. Smart dribbling up high. Goes left side to Tatum. Tatum fakes. Tatum back out. Now to Smart. Smart holds it over his head. Now backs up and dribbles. Blake Capella has him on the switch. Now he goes way across in the corner to Brown for a three, and he misses. A rebound taken by Clint Capella. Clint clears it now to Trey Young. Trey in the middle. Trey shoots a long three and makes it. Trey Young from way downtown knocks it down, and the Hawks have cut it to eight again. 71 63. Trey's got 18 on the night. And now it'll be Derek White back with it for the Celtics. White goes behind a pick by Al Horford. Now White has it knocked away by Trey, and they're going to call a foul on the play against Trey. Oh, my goodness. They don't let him do anything. He can't get a call at the other end, and they call him every time he steals the ball. Now in play it comes. Marcus Smart, back outside, Jalen Brown. Brown driving, Brown to the basket, throws it in the corner. Now the open Tatum shot is good. Uh, no, that's White with a three-pointer from the corner. So White has eight points down at 74-63, Hawks down by 11. 
Cray back down. Stutter step move. Gets it to John Collins. Down on the baseline. Goes up. Oh, he just got whacked in the face by Al Horford. They didn't call it. What is going on here? Now Al gets it outside to White for a three, and he misses. Rebound batted in the air, and Al gets it underneath. Now it's stolen. Bogey has it. Here comes Bogey back. Bogey dribbling to DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre puts it up, and no good, no foul. They're not calling any fouls on the Celtics. What is going on? Now coming back the other way, it's Tatum. Tatum in the middle, shoots a three, and he misses. A rebound, Clint Capella. And now here comes Trey Young back with it. Trey in the middle, Trey drives, Trey in the lane. Gets it to John Collins, quarter three, Johnny is good. Finally, John Collins gets one to fall. And the Hawks have cut it down to eight again. 74-66, coming to eight minutes to go in the third quarter. And now Jalen Brown brings it back. Brown in the middle. Brown, he had to pick. Dribbles down the lane. Left-hander is off the rim and in. Brown, a 25-point night. Hawks lead, trail 76-66. Now Trey Young back. Trey in the middle. Left side, DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre drives, gets fouled that time. It's not a shooting foul, though. And DeAndre just stared at that Trey Maddox, who won't call anything. So now the Hawks will put it in play on the side. They get it out to Cliff Capella now in the middle, Trey Young. 7.40 to go in the third. Trey goes left to Bogey. Bogey fakes. Now he gets whacked by Smart. Shoots the long one anyway. And it's around the ribbon, no good. Rebound tip and taken away by Al Horford. Now they go in the middle to Tatum. Tatum drives. Tatum ran about three steps down the lane and missed. Now Bogey gets the rebound. Here comes Bogey back. And, oh, there's a reach-in foul on Tatum. Stop the presses. Courtney Corkland calls that one. Tatum picks up his first. Second team foul on Boston. 7.20 to go, third quarter. Trey Young ready to put it in play, and he gets it back for Bogey. Now Trey in the middle, directing traffic. Quint Snyder's out there directing traffic, too, at midcourt. Now Trey drives. Trey gets whacked in the face that time, and they called it. Jalen Brown picks up the foul. That's two on Jalen Brown. I don't blame him for whacking him every time because they weren't calling anything. So they figure they can get away with anything, so they are. So they did call that foul, though. That's three against Boston in the quarter. Now Bogey has it, didn't shoot it. Gets it back to Trey. Trey fakes. Trey gets the pick. Drives the leg. Puts it up and got it blocked out of bounds. It'll be Hawks ball still. Six on the 24. 7.02 7.02 to go in the quarter. And now with six on the 24, the Hawks will put it in play. Trey looks to get it in under the basket. He goes way outside. It goes down to Clint Capella. Clint takes it to the basket. Goes up and got it blocked by Al Horford. Then it goes out of bounds. And they're going to give it to the Hawks. And there will be a timeout. So the Hawks will have the ball, but they'll only have two seconds on the 24-second clock when we come back. We've got six minutes and 58 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's Boston 76, Atlanta 66, Hawks Radio Network. At NerdWallet, we often see people blocked when making financial decisions. Take Harold. Coach, these credit card offers, they're everywhere. Harold, look, it's tough out there, but you have got this. With NerdWallet on your team, you will make the smartest play with side-by-side comparisons of top credit cards. Whoa. A card that rewards me for buying sports gear. Let's go get that cash back, team. Nerd Wallet, the smartest decision for all your financial decisions. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jay here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard full hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. You hearing this? It sounds like yeah, this is playoff basketball. Time to tap into playoff mode. That non-stop, claw your way to the top, give it all you got type of thing. <laughs> from inside the paint to outside the arena. Where did this come from? Everybody's got to get in playoff mode and stay in playoff mode. Every single round. 
The NBA playoffs presented by Google Pixel continue on ABC, ESPN, TNT, and NBA TV. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in my bear cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scanna today and get up to $100. For like 77 go Scanna or visit ScannaEnergy.com slash Hawks. And use promo code Hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. Now, back to the game. On the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. 6.58 to play in the third quarter. The Hawks trailing the Celtics 76 to 66. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification on the Atlanta Hawks Radio Network. This is the game. The game. Live the from game. the Kia Studios. The Atlanta Hawks play here. WZGC and WZGC HD1 Atlanta. Yes. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Well, it'll be Hawks ball out of the timeout. However, they will only have two seconds left to go on the 24-second clock. Each team has four timeouts left for the game now. The Hawks have to use an extra one in that second quarter. Robert Williams has checked in now for the Celtics. He's got three fouls. Bogey comes back out for the Hawks. DeAndre Hunter, Trey Young, Blake Capella, and John Collins. So the same group that started the quarter is out here again now. And the Hawks will have it under the basket, but they will only have two seconds left on the 24 second clock. And it will be Bogey to put it in play. As soon as the timeout clock expires here, Hawks are down by 10, 76 66. And now Bogey Bogdanovich gets set to put it in play. And he looks, still looks. Now he's going to try to get it in. He gets it out to Clint Capella. Clint's going to have to shoot it quick. He goes to Trey, and they ran out of time. They only had two seconds left on the clock. Clint couldn't shoot it. So it'll be a turnover, and the ball will go back to Boston now. With 6.56 to go in the third quarter. And it'll be Marcus Smart to put it in play to Jason Tatum. Tatum comes up across against DeAndre Hunter. Now Tatum starts to dribble left, throws it way off onto the right side for Jalen Brown. Brown backing his way in on bogey, fakes, leads, turns, goes up and no good. Rebound tipped to the air, and it's going to be taken by Jalen Brown. Out to Marcus Smart. Now in the middle to Tatum. Tatum backs in. Tatum ran with it again. Threw it away. John Collins has it. Now to Trey Young. Trey comes back. Trey skips. Throws alley-oop, and Johnny Collins jams it home with one hand. And the Hawks have cut it to eight again. 76-68. Celtics come back up on the left side now with Jalen Brown. Brown goes with a pass to Smart. Smart goes in the lane. Floater is good. And it's a 10-point lead again for the Celtics, 78-68. As we approach six minutes to go in the third, Trey Young back. Trey dribbles left. Trey towards the lane, gets double. Out to Johnny Collins. Straight away three is no good. Rebound pulled down by Tatum. John has had some chances. He's three of eight now on the threes. Here comes Tatum back. Whips it over on the left side, Al Horford. He had to save it. Gets it back outside now to Jalen Brown. Brown dribbling, backing, turning, fade away is good. And the Hawks are down by 12 now, 80 to 68. 539 to go, third quarter. Trey Young back. Trey dribbling in the middle. Left side to Bogey. Bogey, quick turnaround is good. A three-pointer for Bogey. He's got 11. That's his second three of the game. Hawks down by nine. 80 to 71, 523, clock ticking, third quarter. Jalen Brown back with it now, dribbles left. Goes behind a moving pick by Williams, they don't call it. Now it gets knocked out of bounds, and they're going to give it back to the Celtics. Celtics set moving screens every time, either Al Horford or Rob Williams. They rarely get called. So the Celtics will have it now with 14 on the 24. As they'll put it in play with Jalen Brown. Brown gets it out to Williams. Williams over to Derek White. Derek White now with nine. Dribbling outside behind a pick. White goes to the foul line. Shoots the jumper and makes it. 82-71. Hawks down by 11 again. Trey Young comes back. Trey on the left side this time. Trey drives out to Flick Capella. Now Trey gets it back. Trey goes into the lane. His floater is off the rim. No good. 
Never getting a rebounding foul called against the Celtics. It's on Malcolm Brockton. The Celtics will be over the limit the rest of the quarter. We've got 4.51 to go in the third. As now Trey Young will put it in play. And he loops it in to Clint Capella back to Trey. Trey in the middle. Now it's down to nine. Goes over. And it's DeAndre Hunter who takes. Now he shoots a long one. Way and off the glass it in. Oh, brother. Yeah. DeAndre Hunter makes it 82 71. Box trailing. 82 74 with that three. They took a long time to put it on the board. So the Hawks are down by eight now, and Tatum comes back. Tatum dribbling out on the right side. A two hand pass up top to White. White's going to jack one up and miss. The rebound taken by Cliff Capella. Gets it down to Johnny Collins. 4.14 to go in the third. Now Trey Young has it. Trey dribbles, drives to the basket, lays it up, and no good. Rebound batted out of bounds, and it goes off of the Celtics. So the Hawks will keep it with 4.07 to go. 14 on the 24. Anyeka Congo is coming into the game now. So is Jalen Johnson. John Collins goes out. Capella goes out. John's got 15 points on the night. He has a rebound and an assist. Flick, four points, seven rebounds. Hauser's back in the game now for Jalen Brown for Boston. And Trey Young will put it in play out of the basket. Trey loops it out to Jalen Johnson. Jalen now bounces it back to Trey. Trey on the left wing. Hawks are down by eight. Trey directs traffic with six. Trey against Hauser. Let's one fly, and he makes it. It's a two-pointer by Trey, and the Hawks trail by six now. Trey's got 20, 82-76. Hawks are down. Celtics come back with Derek White in the middle. White starts to dribble right, gets it in the middle, now to Tatum. Tatum swing it left side. They go front to the three, no good. Rebound tip to the air, Jalen Johnson has it. Here comes Jalen back quickly down in the middle. He goes in the corner. DeAndre Hunter didn't shoot it. Now he goes up top, Jalen again. Now way outside to Trey in the middle. Trey Young goes by Williams. Trey drives. He throws it up, got it blocked. Blocked by Hauser. Now it comes out to Tatum. Tatum's going to break in alone and jam. Hawks had a chance to cut it to four and couldn't do it. Trey got a shot blocked, and it turns into a slam dunk for the Celtics. 84 76. Hawks down by eight again. Now Trey has it in the middle. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Trey gets chased by Hauser. Now Trey dribbling behind a pick. Gets it over now. DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre fakes. DeAndre in the lane. Little floater is good. DeAndre Hunter's got 10. Hawks trailing by six again. 84 78. Now the Celtics back with Derek White. 240 to go in the third quarter. White dribbles way up high with it against Jalen Johnson. White now the bounce pass in the lane. Tatum. Tatum underneath to Williams who jams. Williams gets a slam dunk, and it's 86-78. Walks down by eight again. Now it's Trey back. Trey in the middle. Gets the pick. Goes around it. Now Trey back down the lane. He goes in the lane. He fakes. Now throws a pass to Anyeka, who lays it up and in. Nice job by Trey that time. Anyeka Kongu now has five points. Hawks trail by six again. It's 86 to 80. If they could come up with a stop here somewhere along the line. Now it's White coming up. We're under two to go in the quarter. Eric White drives down the lane. He looked like he walked with it. Now they get it over. Williams, Williams out to Tatum. Tatum left wing. He lost the handle, and it's going to be loose on the floor. Finally picked up by Hauser. A foul line jumper is off the rim, off the rim, off the rim, and in. It bounced off the rim three times and went in. Hawks can't catch a break. It's 88-80. Hawks down by eight. Now Trey back. Trey dribbles to the foul line. Trey in the lane. Trey's right-hander is good. Trey cuts it down to six again. 88-82. And the Hawks get a stop here. A minute 18 to go in the third quarter. And now it's White back. White dribbling against Jalen Johnson. White stops his dribble. Gets it outside. Now Tatum jacks up a three, and he misses Hauser gets the rebound, though, out to White. White down the lane. White's floater is good. He knocked Trey down, but they didn't call anything. White's got 12. Hawks trail by eight again. They just can't get a stop when they need it. Down by six. Now we're under a minute to go in the third quarter. Trey Young back. 
Celtics are over the limit, remember. They have been for a while. Now Trey fires a pass over on the left side, Sadiq Bay. Sadiq in the corner. Jalen Johnson back to Sadiq. Sadiq with seven. Sadiq goes down the lane. Sadiq lays it up left-handed. No good. No foul. Rebound out of bounds. And they're going to give it to the, the Hawks. And we'll get a timeout called here with 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. So it will be Hawks ball. They're down by eight. They've had it down to six, one, two, three, four times, and they haven't been able to get a stop when they get it down to six. So it'll be Hawks ball down by eight, 40 seconds to go third quarter. Celtics 90, Hawks 82, Hawks Radio Network. The all-electric BMW iX M60. It's 100% electric and 100% BMW. Sustainably crafted, sporty, and equipped with a complete suite of intuitive technology, all with a range of up to 280 miles. With iconic BMW M handling and exquisite attention to detail, the BMW iX M60 is electricity in its ultimate form. BMW, the ultimate electric driving machine. Hello, I'm George Washington, the founder of our country, and also the face on the Big Bill scratches from the Georgia Lottery, along with my homies Jefferson, Lincoln, Hamilton. Oh, if only we had Big Bill scratches back then with a chance to win up to $1 million. We would have been, as the young people say, party animals! <laughs> They're back, and they brought their money. Went up to $1 million on the Big Bill's family of scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Planet Fitness is the one and only judgment-free zone. That means for just $10 a month, you can work out at your own pace and just do you. However you want, whenever you want. Get free fitness training and tons of cardio and strength equipment, plus a totally friendly staff for just $10 a month with absolutely no judgment. We want you to be you for just $10 a month. Come in for a free tour or join online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the official fitness partner of your Atlanta Hawks. Join now for just $10 a month. Annual membership fee applies. Participating locations only. See club for details. Ready to bank at a place where your success and the success of your local community matters? Look no further than Georgia Zone. As a not-for-profit financial institution, Georgia Zone offers better rates, fewer fees, and the assurance of knowing that you and your goals are what matter most. Whether you're looking for a checking account with all the perks, a low-rate credit card, or even an auto loan, Georgia Zone can help. To learn more, visit georgiazone.org. Georgia Zone Credit Union. Banking on purpose. Georgia Zone is federally insured by the NCUA. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. 40.1 seconds to play in the third quarter. The Hawks trailing the Celtics 90 to 82. Let's look at the Hawks who are showing a lot of heart and hustle in tonight's game. The share care, heartbeat of the team award winners. Clint Capella with seven rebounds and a block, and Trey Young with 11 assists and a steal. Those are the share care, heartbeat of the team award winners. Download share care today. The official health app of the Atlanta Hawks. Steve? The challenge was successful. The call is overturned. It'll be Boston Ball coming out of this timeout on the baseline. Well, the Celtics challenged the out of bounds call, and they won the challenge, as you just heard Josh Tibbett mention. So it will be Celtics Ball, but they've used up their challenge for the night now. So instead of Hawks Ball, it'll be Celtics Ball. It's still 90 to 82, Boston on top here with 40 seconds to go in the quarter. So the Celtics will have to bring it all the way up the floor. I didn't know they could challenge on a Hawks timeout. But I, I, they didn't have to call a timeout to challenge because the timeout had already been called. It was the automatic. So now Brogdon's going to put it in play. And they get it in to Hauser. Hauser back to Brogdon. Brogdon brings it up across on the left wing. Now Brogdon way out there with it. His pass tipped and stolen, but then Hauser is up with it. Underneath to Tatum. Tatum lays it in. Fox couldn't get the bounce there on that steal. They're down by 10 now, 92-82. 23 seconds to go in the quarter. Hawks can hold for the last shot. Now the Celtics have been over the limit since 4.15 to go in the quarter, and the Hawks have not been able to take advantage of that. Now Trey Young bouncing outside, 8 on the 24. Trey bounces it over to Jalen Johnson. Left side three, Jalen is no good. Rebound is tipped and taken by Boston. Four seconds to go in the quarter. Now they go to Tatum, two seconds, one. He lets it fly, and he misses. 
And that is the end of the third quarter. So the Hawks got it down to six, four different times. They're down by 10 at the end of three. They will have the ball to start the fourth quarter. So at the end of three in Boston, it is the Celtics 92 and the Hawks 82 on the Hawks radio network. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Jay, here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard full hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in my bear cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877-GO-SCANA or visit scanaenergy.com slash hawks. And use promo code hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you fired on all cylinders. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. 12 minutes to save the season for the Hawks. They are not out of it by any stretch, trailing the Celtics 92 to 82 as we go to the fourth quarter of game five in this best of seven series. Hawks shooting 44%, 13 of 30 on their threes. Celtics 54%, but 9 of 30 on their threes. That's been the equalizer tonight. Trey Young has 22 points to lead the Hawks. John Collins with 15. Jalen Brown has 27 to lead the Celtics. Jason Tatum has 17, but he hasn't been very good tonight. One of nine from three. Time now for the fourth quarter and Steve Holman. All right, Mike, thank you. Ready for the fourth to begin. I think you've got to be very proud of these Hawks tonight, no matter what happens here in the fourth quarter. They have been able to band together and hang in here without DeJounte Murray, who is on suspension tonight from the NBA. And they've been able to battle and fight and stay in this thing. They led by five a couple of different times late in the second quarter. They were down at the half by eight. They actually led the Hawks dead at the end of the first quarter, 30-27. to 27. It was 66-58 Celtics at halftime. And now it's a 10-point game, 92-82. The Hawks will have the ball, though, to start the fourth quarter because they won the opening tip. Hawks come out, and Yeka Kongwu. Jalen Johnson, Bogey Bogdanovich. DeAndre Hunter. And Trey is going to come back out for the fourth. He played the whole third. I guess he figures he got all summer to rest. Why not give it a go here in the fourth quarter? He's done a good job tonight. 22 points, 11 assists, a couple of rebounds. And now the Hawks will bring it up with Trey. Sadiq Bay is ready to come in again. Now Trey dribbles out of the left side. Trey gets it over to Jalen Johnson. Jalen back in the middle. Bogey. Bogey at the foul line. Gets double team. Shoots the floater anyway and makes it. Oh, Bogey knocks it down, and the Hawks have cut it to eight again. 92-84. They're hanging in here at Boston. The fourth quarter is just underway. And now Brogdon comes back. Brogdon out on the left wing. In the middle he goes Marcus Smart. Smart over to Hauser. Hauser, quick three-pointer. Is no good. Rebound tipped in the air and finally taken by Jalen Johnson. Here comes Jalen back with it now. Jalen hands it out to Bogey. Bogey back to Jalen. Jalen passing underneath and a slam dunk by Anyaka Kongu. Nice ball movement by the Hawks and it's 92-86. Trailing by six. Can they get that lucrative stop? And now it's Marcus Smart outside with it. We've played a minute here in the fourth. Hawks down by only six. Now Smart, way outside with 10. Gets it in the lane. Now they throw it back to Hauser. Right side three is good. Hauser knocks down a big three. And it's 95-86. Hawks down by nine again. 
Now it's Bogey on the left wing against Hauser. Bogey. They switch off him in the corner. DeAndre Hunter wide open and hits the three. DeAndre Hunter knocks it down, and the Hawks trail by six again. 95-89. Again, can they get a stop here? Now Smart down the lane, out to Hauser. Hauser back up top, Smart. Smart goes in the lane to Brown. Brown goes up and in, and he got fouled on the play. They count the basket. The foul is on Adeka Kongu. Oh, they called it on DeAndre. That's his second. So Brown with a chance at a three-point play. Hawks have gotten it down to six. Six different times, and they can't get a stop when it gets down to six. Blake Griffin makes an appearance for the Celtics. Hauser goes out. Blake Griffin making his first appearance. And now Jalen Brown, free throw, is no good. And the rebound taken by Bogey. So the Hawks are down 97-89. And here comes Trey back with it now. Trey in the middle. Trey drives. Trey to the foul line. Trey turns, fires the right-hander, and it's no good. And now we're going to get a foul against the Celtics in the rebound action. Foul is on Blake Griffin. Just in the game, picking up a foul. So the Hawks will have it on the side. That's the first foul against the Celtics in the quarter. Now on it comes in Yucca, handing it over to Bogey. Bogey right wing. Three-pointer by Bogey is no good. It went off the back rim. Rebound taken by Griffin. Gets it now to Malcolm Brogdon. Ten minutes to go in the game. Brogdon driving. Brogdon threw it in the corner. Brown, three-pointer. Good. Brown makes it 100 to 89. The Hawks are down by 11. 9.48 9.48 to go. Trey down the lane. Trey fakes. Out to DeAndre Hunter. DeAndre fakes. Now steps back. Three-pointer is no good. Back rim. Rebound. Sadiq Bay tips it, but it's taken by Brown. Brown gets it up ahead. It's knocked away by Trey, but Al Horford has it. Now back he goes to Brogdon. Brogdon lays it up and got it blocked there to call goaltending. They call it goaltending as Anyeka Kongu got a hand on it, and the Hawks will call timeout. So we've got 9.32 to go in the game. The Hawks got it down to six, but they trail now as the Celtics have scored seven straight. 9.32 to go in the game. Boston 102, Atlanta 89, Hawks Radio Network. It takes heart to win, and the Atlanta Hawks have what it takes. That's why every Atlanta Hawk proudly wears the Share Care jersey patch on their chest. But you are the heart of this team. We need you to show some heart to help Atlanta win on and off the court. Join the Hawks and Share Care on our goal to improve the health of our city, our state, because we are all together better. Go to sharecare.com slash hearts. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in the Bear Cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk. My family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scana today and get up to $100. Call 877 go Scanner or visit ScanaEnergy.com slash Hawks. And use promo code Hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. I'm attorney Ken Nugent. And I'm Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins. I'm proud to be teaming up with the Atlanta Hawks Foundation to provide scholarships for kids to attend basketball camp. The mission of the Atlanta Hawks Foundation is to help Atlanta's youth learn life skills through basketball. Check out AtlantaHawks.com in the community section. Get involved. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Hawks. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast. Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. The roar of our engines. The pump of our heartbeats. The pedal to our metal. The sparks that ignite us. The pistons that push us. The passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to keep you firing on all cylinders. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. 
9.32 to play in regulation. It's the Celtics 102, the Hawks 89. Let's look at the Hawks' hot shooting totals brought to you by Scanna. The Hawks 14 of 33 on their threes tonight. That's 42%. DeAndre Hunter, 3 of 5. John Collins, 3 for 8. Sadiq Bay, 2 for 3. Steve? All right, Mike, thank you. 9.32 to go. The Hawks are down to two timeouts left. Each team has a foul here in the fourth quarter. The Celtics just went off on a 7-0 run. The Hawks have had it here very nicely, though. They got it down to six. Six different times. And they couldn't come up with that big stop down by six. The last time was 95-89. And now it's that 7-0 run by Boston. So the Hawks will have the ball out of the timeout. And Yeka Kongu comes back on the floor. DeAndre Hunter, Sadiq Bey, Bogey Bogdanovich, and Trey Young. Trey stays out there. He's played the whole second half. So it'll be Hawks ball out of the timeout. And they'll put it in play now. DeAndre Hunter in the backcourt leaves it for Trey. Trey had it knocked away, but he gets it back. Now he's going to have to hurry to get it across. Trey does just get it across in time. Now he gets it in the middle, and Yucca Akaku. And Yucca hands it over to Bogey. Bogey. And now they're going to call an offensive foul against the Yucca Akaku. Marcus Smart took another dive. That's what he does. And Yucca picks up the foul. These officials, they haven't figured out Marcus Smart after all these years. He dives every time. And he gets these offensive fouls called. And they're suckers for it every time. I don't get it. So now Al Horford's going to put it in play. And he gets it into Smart. 9.15 to go in the game. Marcus Smart up on the left wing. In the middle, Blake Griffin has it. Blake Griffin rolls it over his head. And now we're going to get an offensive foul on Boston. They even that one up. It's on Jalen Brown. That's three on Jalen Brown. So it'll be Hawks ball with 9.09 to go. Derek White is back in the game now. Smart goes out. So now in play it comes to Trey Young. Hawks down 102 89. Trey in the middle. And Yucca Gogwin. And Yucca back to Trey. Trey dribbles right. Fakes drives, lays it up, and in. Trey cuts it down now to 102 to 91. We're under nine to go in the game. Malcolm Brogdon will bring it back for the Celtics. Brogdon out there against Bogey, both wearing number 13. Now Brogdon dribbles left. Goes to the basket. Passes underneath. And it got knocked out of bounds. It'll still be Boston ball. 13 on the 24. 8.44 to go in the game. Celtics will put it in with Brogdon under the basket. Brogdon in the corner now. Blake Griffin has it. Hands it out to Jalen Brown. Brown dribbles into the corner. Now throws it back out to White. White fakes and drive. White's floater is good. 104-91. Hawks down by 13 again. Now the Hawks back with Trey. Trey drives. Left-hander off the glass. No good. He got knocked to the floor again. No call. They can't get it. He can't get a call. Underneath, Al Horford has it. Now he goes to Griffin. Griffin puts it up. No good. Rebound loose. And Trey has it. Now he goes to Sadiq Bay. Sadiq driving down the lane. Sadiq lays it up. And no good. Rebound bogey, though, up and in. Trey could not get a foul call. He has not gone to the line tonight. Bogey's got 15. They won't give Trey a call. The entire playoffs. He's driven to the basket more than any player in the playoffs. That's a stat that just came out yesterday. Brogdon misses a three. Rebound taken by Anyeka Okonkwo. 7.45 to go in the game. Bogey left side. Here comes a three. Bogey knocks it down. And the Hawks have cut it to eight again. It's 104.96. Bogey's got 18 on the night. Seven and a half to go in the game. Now Jalen Brown comes back. Brown up high. Brown starts to dribble towards the lane. He goes down the lane. He gets swallowed up. He fakes. He turns. He fires. And there's a foul on the Hawks. The Hawks cannot get a foul call under the basket. And the Celtics go to the line every time. Jalen Brown goes to the free throw line. Trey does not have a free throw attempt tonight. DeAndre Hunter does not have a free throw attempt. John Collins doesn't. Clint Capella doesn't. 
Yaka Kongu does it. Free throw on the way and no good that time by Brown. Celtics have had a total of five free throws tonight. And they're five of five. Brogdon and Al Horford go out. Here comes John Collins back into the game now. Sadiq Bay goes out with 7.22 to go. Hawks are down by eight. Jalen Brown to shoot one more free throw. And this one is on the way. And he misses that one, too. The rebound, though, goes to Griffin. Griffin throws it out of bounds off of one of the Hawks. So they got, they got the two misses and couldn't get the rebound. So it'll be Celtics ball with 7.19 to go. Hawks could not grab that rebound down by eight. They got the two misses by Brown, but now Brown will put it in play. It'll be 13 on the 24. And Brown will put it in play out of the basket. Jalen Brown looking, taking forever to get it in. He does way out to White. White in the middle. Now White holding on with seven. Gets it over to Brown. Brown, it's kicked out of bounds, so they're going to get 14 put on the 24. DeAndre Hunter kicked it out of bounds. So the Celtics will have 14 on the 24. And Brown will put it in play. He does. Way out he goes to Williams. Rob Williams now goes to Tatum. Tatum tries to go in, can't do it. Forces one up and hits. Tatum makes it a 10-point game, 106-96. And we're now under seven to go. Here comes Trey back. Trey drives right. In the lane to John Collins. Foul on jumper Johnny Collins is off the rim. No good. Oh, boy. John missed an easy one there. He's six for 15 on the night now. And now it's White back with him. White on the left wing. 6.45 to go. Derek White dribbling in the middle. Straight away three is no good. Rebound tip. And there's a tackle on the play by the Celtics. It's their second team foul. Foul on Griffin. That's two on Blake Griffin. Hawks will have it on the side now. Down by 10. Bogey's got to put it in play with 6.37 to go. And he gets it into Trey. Trey Young will bring it up. Hawks have hung in here all night. They've done a good job. Now Trey dribbles right, shoots a three, and he misses. It ricochets off to Tatum. Tatum's going to walk it back up now. 6.24 to go. Clock ticking. Now Tatum gets it across. Tatum starts to dribble left. Picks up by Anyeka Kongu on the switch. Now it's down to eight. Tatum, two-hand pass in the corner. Brown wide open, and he hits the three. And now it's 109-96. Hawks down by 13 again. Six minutes to go. Now outside, Bogey. Bogey dribbles to the foul line. Hands it off on the left side. John Collins, three-pointer. Good. Johnny got it to fall. John Collins hits a three, and the Hawks trail by 10 again. 109 to 99. Tatum walks it up now with 540 to go. Jason Tatum dribbling in the middle. Goes behind a moving pick again by Robert Williams. They don't call it. And now Tatum has it. Tatum with seven. Tatum throws a pass outside to White. White fakes and drives. White down the lane. Lays it up and in. And it's 111 to 99. Hawks down by 12. Here comes Trey. Trey drives on the right side. Underneath it, Yeka Kanku is all alone and lays it in. Good job by Trey to find him that time. That's 13 assists for Trey Young. And it's 111 to 101. The Hawks are down by 10. We're about to hit five minutes to go in the game. Jason Tatum brings it across. Gets it outside now to Derek White. White dribbling in the middle against Trey. Trey's played the whole second half. Now White up top. White with eight. White against DeAndre Hunter. White jacks up a straightaway three and misses. The rebound taken by Trey. Trey Young's going to bring it back with the Hawks down by 10. Trey across to the middle. Trey stops his dribble. Now he looks, gets it over to John Collins, left side out to Bogey. Bogey back to John. Johnny Collins lays it up, been around the rim, and in. And the Celtics are going to call a timeout. So the Hawks battling and fighting. They have not given up. 
You must be very proud of your Atlanta Hawks tonight, folks, playing as shorthanded without DeJounte Murray. So a timeout, 4.31 to go. It's the Celtics 111, Hawks 103, Hawks Radio Network. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jay here on the Hawks Beat, asking fans who will be this year's MVP. That's got to be the Maverick. The new truck from Ford? Yeah. It's versatile, agile, and when it comes to fuel efficiency, it really ups your game. Because it's a hybrid, right? The first ever standard full hybrid pickup. Now that's MVP material. The 2022 Ford Maverick pickup is redefining what's possible. Just like our Hawks. Learn more at your local Ford dealer. Proud sponsor of the Atlanta Hawks. He shoots, he scores. Whether we're at home in the Bear Cave or at the arena with my buddy Harry the Hawk, my family and I love watching Hawks basketball. And Scana Energy is part of all the action as the official natural gas partner of the Atlanta Hawks. So get fired up, Atlanta, as our home team defends the house this season. Let's go, Hawks. Sign up with Scanner today and get up to $100. Call 877-GO-SCANNER or visit scannerenergy.com slash hawks. And use promo code hawks for details. Limited time offer. Terms and conditions apply. The roar of our engines, the pump of our heartbeats, the pedal to our metal, the sparks that ignite us, the pistons that push us, the passions that drive us. From the feelings that move us to the places that pull us on the roads that unite us. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care, here to keep you firing on all cylinders. It takes heart to win, and the Atlanta Hawks have what it takes. That's why every Atlanta Hawk proudly wears the Share Care jersey patch on their chest. But you are the heart of this team. We need you to show some heart to help Atlanta win on and off the court. Join the Hawks and Share Care on our goal to improve the health of our city, our state, because we are all together better. Go to sharecare.com slash heart. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. 431 to play in regulation. The Celtics 111, the Hawks 103. Another road team trying to keep their season going tonight, Minnesota. Timberwolves lead the Nuggets 29-22 as the first quarter comes to an end in Denver. Nikhil Alexander-Walker has eight points for the Timberwolves. Remember, if the Hawks come back and win this game six Thursday in Atlanta, there are tickets available right now at hawks.com slash playoffs. Steve? All right, Mike, thank you. The Hawks have done a great job hanging in here all night tonight. They led by three at the end of the first quarter, trailed by eight at halftime, trailed by ten after three, and now trailed by eight again with 4.31 to go. They did get it down to six, six different times. And just couldn't quite get the stop when they needed it down by six. So now the timeout situation is the Hawks have two. The Celtics have three left. Each team has two fouls in the quarter so far. Trey Young has played over 40 minutes. Without DeJounte, Trey's played the whole second half. And he stays out there now with DeAndre Hunter, Bogey Bogdanovich, and Yekka Congo and John Collins. So now it comes in play, and they get it to Jason Tatum. Tatum will bring it up. Clock ticks, 4.25 to go. Tatum across in the middle. Way out he goes to Rob Williams. Williams now right side. Holds it. Now it starts to dribble. Hands it back outside. Now to Brown. Brown in the middle. Brown to the foul line. Brown driving. Fakes. Swallowed up. Turns. Fires. And misses. The rebound loose. And it's going to be a foul called against Boston, I think. It is on Williams. Williams picks up his fourth. So the Hawks get it back as Williams went diving at the feet of Bogey. And now the Hawks will put it in play with John Collins in the backcourt. And then it comes to Trey Young. Trey looks to Quinn Snyder, gets the call. Now Trey comes across in the middle. Trey whips it in the corner. DeAndre Hunter has it. DeAndre back out to Bogey. Bogey fakes against Al Horford. Bogey drives against Al. Throws it in the corner. John Collins fakes the three. Now drives closer. Backs in. Turns. Right hander off the glass. It good. John Collins scores, and the Hawks are down by six again. 111 to 105. Can they get that stop this time? 338 to go. And now it's Derek White. White dribbles left. White guarded by DeAndre Hunter. Way out they go to Tatum. Tatum now seven on the grid. Solid. It's taken away by DeAndre. He gets tackled on the play. 
They call it a loose ball foul. It's on Jason Tatum. That could have been a clear path foul. I guess they're not going to look at it that way. Bogey's saying that should have been a clear path foul. And they're, are they going to even look at it? They're not even going to look at it. Hawks are yelling that it should be a clear path foul, but it's just going to be Hawks ball on the side. That's four fouls against the Celtics, so they are over the limit with the next one. Quinn Snyder saying the same thing. Why aren't they looking at it even? So it's going to be Hawks ball on the side. Quinn saying to the official, why can't you look at it as a clear path foul? Yeah, Quinn is he's making a good argument there. So now Trey will put it in play. Hawks down by six. Trey gets it back. 324 to go in the game. Trey sets it up against Al Horford. Now he shoots the three. And he makes the three. Trey cuts it to three points. It's 111 to 108. How about these Atlanta Hawks, folks? It's a three-point game with 3.08 to go. Marcus Smart will bring it back. Smart dribbles out on the right side. His pass stolen by Trey. Trey Young has it. And now he gets it back again. Here comes Trey with 2.57 to go. Hawks down by three. Trey drives. Trey gets held in the corner. Gets it back. Now Trey in the middle. 12 on the 24. 2.48 to go in the game. Trey Young against Jalen Brown. Trey behind a pick. Trey shoots the three. And he makes it. And we've tied the game. The Hawks have tied the game, folks. It's 111 all with 2.38 to go. Trey Young has just tied the game. He's got 30 on the night. Marcus Smart brings it back for the Celtics. What a night for the Hawks. Smart gets doubled. He got it back. He drives, throws it in the corner. Al Horford for a three, and he misses. The rebound loose, picked up by Williams, and he lays it in. And I think a foul on the play. The Hawks couldn't get the rebound. How about that? Bogey picks up the foul. Williams will have a chance at a three-point play. He's five of six in the series. We've got 218 to go. The Hawks trail now, 113 to 111. Free throw, no good. Rebound Bogey. 215 to go. Hawks have the ball down by two. 113 to 111. Here comes Trey Young. Trey against Marcus Smart. Trey dribbles out on the left side, picked up by Al Horford now. Trey fires and it misses. It rolled off and out. That would have put the Hawks ahead. Two minutes to go. Celtics have the ball. Now Marcus Smart comes across. Smart way out on the right side in the middle of Tatum. Tatum dribbles right. Offensive foul, Boston. Offensive foul, Boston. It's on Marcus Smart. Hawks get it back with a minute 52 to go, down by two. And in it comes to Trey Young. This crowd is stunned here in Boston. Now Trey gets it across, 145 to go. Trey dribbles left. They run at him again. Trey drives. He gets poked in the face. He goes up and got fouled. They finally called it when Trey went up. And a technical foul on Boston. Technical foul on the Celtics. Jason Tatum gets a technical. Al Horford picks up the foul, and Tatum gets a technical foul with 1.39 to go. And the Celtics have already used their challenge. They used it on a silly out-of-bounds play in the third quarter. Trey will shoot the technical first. Free throw is good. Now he gets two, and a chance to give the Atlanta Hawks the lead. With 1.39 to go. Folks, how about these Hawks? I don't know what's going to happen the last 1.39, but you have to be so proud of this team. Play without DeJounte Murray tonight. Down by as many as 13. Now Trey at the line for two. First one, good. Ties the game. Now he'll have a chance to give the Hawks the lead, believe it or not. With a minute 39 to go, Marcus Smart has come out of the game. White is in. Hawks still have a foul to give. Free throw by Trey. Good. And the Hawks lead. The Atlanta Hawks have taken the lead, 114 to 113, with a minute 38 to go. 
Trey's got 33 on the night. Now Jalen Brown back. Brown in the middle. Throws it now. So it nearly stolen. White has it. Back to Brown. Brown drives the lane. Throws it up. Got it blocked. Taken away by the Hawks. A minute 22 to go. Trey Young has it. Here comes Trey across. Hawks up by a point. Celtics over the limit on fouls. Trey dribbles in the middle. Trey way out there now gets a pick from John Collins. Trey uses it. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Back rim. Rebound tipped in the air. Celtics have it. A minute three to go. Now Brown back. Brown dribbles outside. Gets in the middle to Al Horford. Now back over to Brown. Brown drives the lane. Brown goes up and got it partially blocked. Rebound Williams. No good. Rebound now Johnny Collins. 49 seconds to go. Hawks have the ball in the lead. Celtics are over the limit on fouls. Now Trey across against White. Trey dribbling with 12 on the 24. 36 seconds to go in the game. Trey Young way outside. Now makes a move. Drives the lane. Floater off the glass is no good but a foul. Oh, they call it a jump ball. They call it a jump ball. 30.4 to go. Oh, the ball got stuck under there. It got stuck on the rim, so they'll jump it up right at midcourt. And Yaka Kongu and Williams, 30.4 to go. Hawks lead by a point. Can you believe this, folks? And Yaka Kongu and Robert Williams will jump. Tip controlled by the Celtics. And it's Tatum. Tatum gets it underneath, and Williams jams. 25 seconds left. Williams makes it 115 to 114. The Hawks don't call time. Trey Young will bring it up. The Hawks are going to try to win it right here. Trey has it knocked away by Smart. Now a loose ball foul on Smart, I think. It's a foul on Smart, I believe. It is on Marcus Smart. Smart has picked up his fourth. Remember now, the Celtics used their challenge in the third quarter on an out-of-bounds play when they were up by like 13 points. So now Trey Young is at the line with 15.8 to go. Celtics lead by a point. Trey's first free throw. Good. That ties the game. Now he's got a chance to give the Hawks the lead. And the Hawks have a foul to give still. It's 115 all. Trey gets ready again. The free throw is good. Trey Young has given the Hawks the lead. The Celtics are not going to call timeout. 116 115. Here comes Tatum. Tatum now drives the lane. And there's a whistle. What did they call there? They called it on John Collins. That's the first in the last two minutes. So the Celtics have it with nine and a half seconds to go. Sadiq Bay is coming into the game now. Bogey's going to go out. Sadiq is in for defense. Nine and a half seconds to go. And the Celtics do call time. How about this, folks? Timeout. Hawks 116, Celtics 115, Hawks Radio Network. I'm attorney Ken Newton. And I'm Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins. I'm proud to be teaming up with the Atlanta Hawks Foundation to provide scholarships for kids to attend basketball camp. The mission of the Atlanta Hawks Foundation is to help Atlanta's youth learn life skills through basketball. Check out AtlantaHawks.com in the community section. Get involved. Ken Nugent, proud partner of the Atlanta Hawks. Call 1-800-CALL-KEN. Spokesperson for Kenneth S. Nugent, PC Attorneys at Law. 1355 Peachtree Street, Northeast. Suite 1000, Atlanta, Georgia, 30309. Now you can get your favorite games and the best deals with the Atlanta Hawks Stack Pack. Choose your favorite kind of game, weekend, all-star, Eastern, Western Conference, and the number of games, 10, 20, 30, you want to see. And the more you stack up, the more benefits you'll get. Like playoff priority, food and beverage value, and the best seat at an awesome price. Stack Pack, your favorite games for less. Learn more at hawks.com slash stack. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. Well, here we go. Nine and a half seconds to go. Hawks lead 116 to 115. Celtics will have the ball. The Hawks are over the limit now on foul, so they can't foul. It's a one-point game. 
Celtics have the ball with White to put it in play at midcourt. Everybody on their feet here at the TD Garden. What a finish by the Hawks. They're on a 20 to 6 run right now. Now they're going to stop the play and wipe up a wet spot on the floor. Now they get that cleaned up. Nine and a half seconds left. Can the Hawks pull this off? Shock the world. Now it's going to be put in play by White. White looks to get it in. He can't get it in. Now he does, and he gets it back. He moves into the lane. He goes in, and they call a blocking foul against the Hawks. They called a block with six and a half seconds left. Trey Young gets called for it. The Hawks do have a challenge left if they want to try it. The Hawks do have a challenge left if they wanted to try it. They are going to call it. They're going to challenge it. The Hawks are going to challenge this. The Hawks are going to challenge this play. We'll keep it here while they do. Josh Tiven will come over to the table. The Hawks are going to look at this play. Let's call timeout to challenge the blocking foul on Trey Young. The foul was on Trey. That's a pretty good challenge, I'd say. So they each have a timeout left now. I've looked at this replay several times. I mean, we never know. If they turn this over and call it an offensive foul, this place is going to go bananas. They very well might. Whatever happens, though, the Hawks will have six and a half seconds left, and they do have a timeout. They will have a Upon chance. Review, Trey Young doesn't get legally in the path of Derek White, and the blocking foul is correctly called. The challenge is unsuccessful. There'll be two free throws for Derek White, and the game clock being reset to 7.3. 7.3 is what they put the clock at. That actually helps the Hawks. So the, the challenge is unsuccessful. So Derek White will be at the line. He hasn't tried one tonight. He's 8 of 9 in the series. The Hawks lead 116 to 115. They do have a timeout left if White makes both of these. What a job by the Hawks, though. I don't know what's going to happen here in the last 7.3, but what a job they've done tonight. You have to be so proud of these Atlanta Hawks. White at the line. First one on the way and good. 116 all. Now White ready again. If he misses, the Hawks need to get the rebound. Here's White's second. It's on the way and good. So the Celtics lead by a point. The Hawks will call their final timeout. We've got 7.3 to go in the game. Hawks down by a point now, 117 to 116. Trey Young has played the entire second half. He's played over 44 minutes in the game. He's got 35 points. He's got 13 assists. He's got four rebounds. He's 13 of 32 from the field, four of 12 on threes, five of five from the line. Both sides are over the limit on fouls. We'll see if they have the guts to call a foul if the Hawks take it to the basket. They just called one on Trey, and that gave the Celtics the lead as White got to shoot two free throws. Hawks have tried the Hawks have tried 10 free throws. They've made all 10. The Celtics are 7 of 13 from the line. So Quinn Snyder's drawing up that final play for the Hawks. 7.3 to go. It's 117 to 116. The Celtics lead. What a fight the Hawks have put up tonight, as short-handed as they are without DeJounte Murray. They were down by 13 points, 109 to 96. And they have battled their way back. 
20 to 8 run for the Hawks. And they've got one more crack at it here. 7.3 to go. They don't have a timeout left. The Celtics do have one. Both sides over the limit on fouls. Sadiq Bay is going to put it in play at midcourt. Hawks down by a point. Sadiq's going to be guarded by Al Horford on the inbound pass. Sadiq Bay to put it in play. Sadiq gets it out to Trey in the backcourt. Trey now brings it across against Jalen Brown. Trey in the middle. Fires the three. Bang! Trey Young just hit it with 1.8 to go. And the Hawks take a two-point lead. 119 to 117. Trey Young has just stunned this crowd, folks. Trey Young has just stunned Boston. The Celtics take their final time out. Trey Young. 38 points. How about this, folks? Can you believe it? The Hawks have stunned the crowd here. We've got 1.8 to go. Can the Hawks do it? They're up by two. Trey Young has put the team on his shoulders tonight. 38 points, 13 assists for Trey. He hit the big three-pointer over Jalen Brown with 1.8 to go. Hawks down in the series, 3-1. to one. Backs against the wall. No DeJounte Murray. A 13-and-a-half point underdog tonight. The Celtics had led by 13. In the fourth. So now the Celtics will put it in play at midcourt. It'll be Tatum to put it in play. 1.8 to go. Tatum looks to get it in. He gets it under the basket. It's knocked away. It goes out of bounds with a half a second left. A half a second is left. No timeouts for the Celtics. This crowd is stunned. Williams is back in. They'll probably try a lob. Clint Capella's going to come back in now because of that. That's the only chance the Hawks, ha- the Celtics have is to try a lob. A half a second. And they'll put it in play with Smart by the Hawks bench. Right in the corner. Marcus Smart to lob it in. He gets it in. Tatum fires at the buzzer and misses. And the Atlanta Hawks have won. The Atlanta Hawks have come in and shocked the world, folks. Janet Jackson will have to wait until Friday for her second show. Janet Jackson, too bad. You'll have to wait. The Atlanta Hawks are coming home to play game six on Thursday night. The Atlanta Hawks, folks. What a job they've done. They came into Boston and they beat the Celtics. They have stunned the crowd. They have stunned an entire city. They win the game. Final score, Atlanta, 119. Boston, 117. We're coming home to good old State Farm Arena Thursday night. Go to hawks.com slash tickets. Oh, my goodness. We're going to be going downstairs here in a moment by the Hawks locker room. I think Bogey's going to be joining us. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This crowd, I have never seen anything like it. They were ahead 109-96. They were celebrating. They couldn't wait to get the Hawks out of the way here tonight. They just thought this was going to be a bump in the road. And now the Hawks win. And they've got a chance to tie it up on Thursday at home. My goodness, what a job. I can hear him downstairs there in the hallway. The Hawks are celebrating, but Bogey's going to put the headsets on here in a moment. (laughs) This is unbelievable. It was 109-96, Boston led. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have a game six, folks. I hope you go online right now, hawks.com slash tickets. Listen to the Hawks down there celebrating. We've got the headset now. I think Bogey's going to put it on. Bogey. What up? Hey, what, you guys shocked the world. 
Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Another win, another day, you know? Yeah, I mean, I bet you guys were down 109.96. What happened? Nothing. We we just keep playing the same way in the game plan, and uh, some shots didn't fall in, and some shots fall down for them, and we just executed well towards the end, and I'm just happy we won. Well, I think the way you guys banded together today, you know, with, with, with without DeJounte, and uh, I think everybody just had the resolve to go out and try to win this thing. Yeah, man, we're trying every single day, you know, with everyone. Uh, we miss DeJounte. We need him back. Uh, hopefully he's well rested for next game, and you're going to bring that uh, next game. Yeah, he'll be rested, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys. He happens uh, to everyone. He happens to everyone. We cool. You played we over. got his back. You played over 36. Trey played over 44 tonight. I mean, everybody just stepped up. I mean, what, what a team effort, right? We were all ready, man. We, we are always ready. We work hard during this season. And, you know, just keep believing, keep working, and nothing is over yet. All right, Bogey, thank you. It's going to be a happy ride home. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Wow. The Hawks have done it. They came in here and beat the Celtics. So we're going to have game six. I think it's 7.30 on Thursday. Mike will probably know that better. I think it is 7.30 on Thursday. So Janet Jackson will play on Wednesday night, and then they'll move her to Friday night again. So what a what a win for the Hawks. I mean, I've been around this a long time. I've been around this team 38 seasons. This is one of the best ever, I'd say. I mean, that they were counted out by everyone here. I mean, and they were a 13-and-a-half-point underdog. The Hawks were just a little fly on the windshield to get out of the way so they could go to the next series. And how about the Hawks? What a gutsy effort by Trey, too. I mean, you know, you can say what you want about Trey. Sometimes he'll give you a heart attack. Sometimes he'll give you an ulcer. But tonight, he put the team on his shoulders. They all did. All the guys did, really. And, and Trey, though, with 38 points, 13 assists, and the big three-pointer, right over Jalen Brown to win this thing. So we're going to get ready to head back to Atlanta, and we'll see you Thursday at State Farm Arena. Who would have thought it? Final score from Boston. In game five, the Hawks 119, Celtics 117. Mike's going to be back and wrap it up in a moment on the Hawks Radio Network. Ready to bank at a place where your success and the success of your local community matters? Look no further than Georgia Zone. As a not-for-profit financial institution, Georgia Zone offers better rates, fewer fees, and the assurance of knowing that you and your goals are what matter most. Whether you're looking for a checking account with all the perks, a low-rate credit card, or even an auto loan, Georgia Zone can help. To learn more, visit georgiazone.org. Georgia Zone Credit Union. Banking on purpose. Georgia Zone is federally insured by the NCUA. The BMW i4 M50. It's 100% electric and 100% BMW. Experience the power of over 500 horses stampeding at a whisper as BMW M-engineered handling takes you through every twist and turn. The complete suite of intuitive technology keeps you connected. The pure performance keeps your heart racing. The BMW i4 M50. Silence has never said so much. BMW, the ultimate electric driving machine. Planet Fitness is the one and only judgment-free zone. That means for just $10 a month, you can work out at your own pace and just do you. However you want, whenever you want. Get free fitness training and tons of cardio and strength equipment, plus a totally friendly staff for just $10 a month with absolutely no judgment. We want you to be you for just $10 a month. Come in for a free tour or join online at planetfitness.com. Planet Fitness. Planet Fitness is the official fitness partner of your Atlanta Hawks. Join now for just $10 a month. Annual membership fee applies. Participating locations only. See club for details. Hello, I'm George Washington, the founder of our country, and also the face on the Big Bill scratches from the Georgia Lottery, along with my homies Jefferson, Lincoln, Hamilton. Oh, if only we had Big Bill scratches back then with a chance to win up to $1 million. We would have been, as the young people say, party animals! <laughs> They're back, and they brought their money. Went up to $1 million on the Big Bill's family of scratchers from the Georgia Lottery. Play responsibly. Now, back to more of today's game on the Hawks Radio Network. So the Hawks come from 13 down in the fourth quarter and stun the Celtics 119 to 117. The game winning three by Trey Young with 1.8 seconds to play. And the Hawks force a game six and extend the series Thursday night in Atlanta.